Um, um, yeah. Um, yeah. So we're gonna move. I look. I have a treat. Do, we, we've got to get to this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. 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 So sorry, sorry, sorry. I played the Top Dog intro because. Hey, buddy. It's Top Dog. This isn't really a. Hey, buddy. It's Top Dog. It's close to Top Dog. Hey, buddy. And that is it's Top Dog. That's so cute. You need to wipe it down. It's Top Dog. Uh, that is, has he heard this intro? No, he hasn't heard it. I think he would really like it. Um, so this is today. God damn it, I, I so spoke funny. to my mother, and she was first of all confused by the phone and yeah, what's going on, what's happening, yeah. and then it's all about Top Dog. So I don't get Top Dog. I get. Mamita. Well, this is actually more exciting because this is Top Dog from the woman who knows, who him, knows him best. Him best. I mean, there's there's nobody. How long have they been together for forty years? Long time, and she knows him better than anybody. And um, this is Top Dog analysis right here. That's what it is. I was just asking Top Dog questions. Oh so my god, I can't wait to hear her perspective on the him. audio. Is you know it's not perfect, but hi mom, hi Tomcito. Oh, how's it going? Fine. What is going on? <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to call you and uh, talk to you for, for my show. You're in your show? No, no, I'm, I'm going to be doing this call for the show. Oh. You're doing this call uh, for the show? I don't understand. <laughs> it's going to take 20 minutes yeah. just to explain podcast. this. <laughs> You're not going Remember, to talk like, to me. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Remember like when I did, I was in the car with you. Um, and I recorded the conversation with you and Dad, and then I I used that for our show, and then now I'm just calling you now to use this for the show. Yeah. yeah. Do you think she understands at no. this point? Yeah. No. Um, Doesn't understand. There's a lot of stuff that <laughs> people want to know. No clue about uh, Top Dog. Okay. <laughs> Number one, since you're married to him, what are his parts like? What are his words to me? His farts like, his pedals. Ah, no. No. <laughs> Just no. 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 There is no way you want to talk to me about this. <laughs> talk to him. He, can t- he's, he, he has a pleasure talking about that. <laughs> the smell is enough for me. I don't need to talk about it. <laughs> no, but there is this one thing that I wanted to see if you would, if you would at least verify. Isn't his, aren't his parts the worst smelling in the world? Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. And then he Do puts his think... hands and I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> With total pleasure of what is coming out of there. Then you think that With is total bizarre? Pleasure. Is somebody that? I think it's disgusting. <laughs> Besides, something different, but that is disgusting. <laughs> what, and why is he... he that he does that he knows if he's regular. I just don't understand why you need to do that at all. I, I have no idea because I never met a human being like that. <laughs> but you married one. <laughs> I know, but I didn't know when I married him. <laughs> when did he start doing that? Not right away, I guess. No, not right away. How long, how long did he wait? You think? Uh, probably three days. <laughs> Three days. Um, he did not do that three days after you got married. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Put his hand there and smelled it? Honeymoon came with perfume. <laughs> <laughs> so that just is- to be clear, she's saying that, because I assume his animal ways came out way later. Right, in the courtship period. Right. They got married, and they had a long-distance courtship. Don't forget. Your she mother really is know. from. I don't think the listeners know where you're. Peru. Is. Okay. And they, when they got married, like so, they didn't have like they didn't like live together any of that. There was like America and Peru. They get married, get married, go on a honeymoon. A couple of days after the, what, he's <laughs> farting in his hand and smelling it. Three days. Oh my! Could you imagine? And she's like, "What in the fuck?" That's what I'm finding out. I didn't know that until today. Ugh. It's for sure. <sighs> so awful. Were you shocked? Like, who did I marry? Tommy, I, I, no, I was just in shock. I, I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's just, it's, and plus, so my silent. The silent at the worst. The silent yeah. ones. The other day in church, during Lent, we went to church. The church is packed. 
all of a sudden a horrible smell came. <laughs> and I turned around and said, oh my God, Tom, did you fart? And he said, no. And I said, oh gosh, there's people in the room did it. I wonder who did it. And then he started laughing. And he said, it was me. <laughs> and I said, please leave the church. This is disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't care yeah. the place. He doesn't care the smell. He doesn't care for anything. He has, he's proud of that. Yeah, he always um, brings up, he's very proud of the time that we went to the movies. Uh, and the people moved. Yeah, the people left. <laughs> that left. Yeah. Wait yeah. a minute. That, that Push pause. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me just clarify. Your mother is saying that your father farts with reckless abandon and, yeah. no matter where you are in care. church or in a movie. Yeah, yeah. Does that sound familiar to you? I've been adopting this philosophy. Okay. Yeah. But Okay. I'm just I just want to hear it out of your are lips, you know. So much more potent. Well yeah, he's got a few years on you and he had Vietnam. And that's not it. He also had diverticulitis. But that he got in Vietnam, right? No. I no. thought it was from bacteria that he picked up in, no. in the jungle. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's what he told no, me. No, it's not from he, Vietnam. He told me that he got no. diver. He told me it was from war. The no, war. Eating no. MREs and no. eating, it's from eating his, Vietnamese brains it's and stuff. from 30 plus like years in a row of just eating meat like four No vegetables? Yeah. Like my dad just sausage yes, and cognac? Yes, my dad's like, like how do you shit? Diet. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's a goal. <laughs> what is this big soccer player? Beckman? 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 Yeah. Beck, yeah, she's like Beckman. And when, when he does, he feels like, okay, it's score. I score. Well, he's, so he's the Beckham of farting? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> He's the David Beckham David of farting. Yeah. I love it. It's absolutely and disgusting. And I can't believe people, he like to talk. Uh, did you encourage him by talking about that? Because now he thinks this is cool. <laughs> and that is not cool. It's still disgusting. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So instead of having your help, he has yeah. your help. Now, when you, when you first saw him doing this, were you like, did you ever speak up early on? Like, hey, man, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? No, because when he just started quitting me and speak English. Oh. So you were, in was... your mind, you were like, this is disgusting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, so can... when I told my mom, oh. and I said, Mommy, this is disgusting. I can't believe it. You should see how he does it and the smell. And then he put his hands and smell it, and he's proud of what is coming out. <laughs> and my mom says, well, Hita, you always have to give up something in life. What would you rather have? A husband that does that or a husband who cheats? I said, well, if I have two choices, then I have to let him fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal she made with the no, devil. That's yeah. it. If I have two choices, then I have to let him fart. Your poor, so your poor mother yeah. comes to this country, doesn't speak English mm -hmm. at this point. She right. marries your father. And three days in, he's laying on the bed in his see-through box or shorts. Uh -huh. And she's like, oh. Cupping like, farts and, and smelling the way, them wait, but in his hand. Don't, you're, you got ahead of yourself. Sorry, he's, sorry, I don't want to. He's laying on the bed, and she's probably admiring him. <laughs> this wonderful man. Right, he's a handsome man. <laughs> oh, my life's going to change. I wonder what kind of life I'm going to have. And he, he was a bodybuilder, so he well, was a in weight good shape. A weightlifter, sorry, so he was in good shape. Fantastic shape. Yeah. She's, he's just totally fit, <laughs> just wonderful specimen of a, of a human being. Yeah. And then... Cups it. And then smells and the fart like, in his hand. What in the? <laughs> but can you imagine being her mother and getting that call in Peru? Uh -huh. Ay, pobrecito, pero guay, he farts in pelo. What is it, pero? <laughs> Say it in Spanish. What's the phone call uh, from your she mom? She probably was like, Ay, mamita, mamita. And her mom was probably like, ay, hijita, que pasa, que pasa. And she's like, el hombre, Tom, el hombre, con quien me casé. Tira, tira pedos todo el día en su mano y les duele. Ay, no sé qué puedo hacer. <laughs> pelo, pedo es a fart. Pedo. Pedo. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Your poor mother. Poor mother was like, ay, no sé, pero why? <laughs> Corazón de Jesús. And she's stuck here with yeah. us. There's no, and there's no breaking up a marriage over this. This is one of those things that you just look the other way for forty years. Yeah. If, you, if you're not, in, if it doesn't make you laugh. Yeah. You're fucked. That's why it's better if it makes you laugh. It's better, yeah. Thank yeah. God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so you made, yeah, that was a good trade-off you made. Uh, well, now, yeah. 
<laughs> One, a lot of people also asked if you really thought Dad was going to kill you on the dirt road. They, absolutely yes. Absolutely, absolutely yes. yes. Absolutely, absolutely yes. Now, just to re, you know, remind people, I had them on a few episodes ago, and I had them tell the story of the time where they they went home and they took a, a turn that they don't normally take, and my mom feared that my father would kill her, <laughs> and she told him to pull over, right. turn around, and if not, that stop the car. She wanted to get out because she was in fear of her life. These are I know. People that have been happily married for like 35 years. Oh, yeah. And she's like, you're going to kill me. She loves this. She's told me this story yeah. several times. So I just wanted to make it like, I just yeah. wanted to know it wasn't like an exaggeration, and we talk about it here for a moment. But don't you feel like you know him well enough that he's not going to kill you? No. All we watch is 48 hours and they line. It's the only thing we watch. Oh, murder, murder, murder. To watch a comedy with me or to watch, you know, one of those reality shows. I know, baby. Let's see that. I know it's 48 hours. <laughs> and everything is husband's killing their wife and then he rewind it to be sure how he did it. <laughs> <laughs> so you really feel like he's capable of this stuff? Unfortunately, I think he's a wonderful guy, but I think between Vietnam... Uh -huh. And watching these shows, one of these days he gets sick and tired of me. I keep telling him, I said, Tom, if you want to get rid of me, I promise you I'll give you the divorce. I don't want anything. You keep the house. You keep everything. Please don't kill me. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Why now, I remember like one of the one times that you didn't, uh, we didn't talk about this last time, but I remember specifically you telling me of a time where he came home early from work and you locked yourself in the bedroom thinking that, he was like, going to kill you or something. Yes. <laughs> what happened there? I can't remember. I remember the event, but I got scared to death. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and he was just like, I'm home. And you're like, ah! you're screaming. <laughs> so this happened more than once. This happened more, more than once. He comes home. Yeah. And, or, or he walks, I'm in the shower, and then all of a sudden, I don't even know that he's coming home, and he walks in the bathroom, and he starts screaming. And he says, it's just me, I'm your husband. How am I supposed to walk in the house? I say, I announce it. Announce it. They start walking, so now when he comes home, if I'm in the, in the shower, he says, mamita, mamita, he starts screaming all over the house. <laughs> so I am prepared. Now, now um, the other thing I wanted to ask you, what I want to ask you, oh, yeah, yeah, you were talking about that uh, on Facebook. You were looking at my Facebook page, and you said... You have something you that mama, your mama uh, killed your mom. Something with your mother, killed you your killed mom. your mother, too. <laughs> you killed what is that? You have it in your Facebook. It says, it, it came to me as a male, and it says, Tom Segura, and it's your picture in there. And right yeah. next to that, it says, killing your mom. I told you what killing it was, kill your mom. Kill your mom. Kill your mama? Yeah. No. Oh, you have a show? Yes, Tommy, I promise you. No, I promise. Our, show is, our show is called Your Mom's House. Is that what you're talking about? Ah, uh, that's what it is. <laughs> you like to <laughs> kill your mom? That's a little different than your mom's, your house. mom's house. So now, holy shit, she's, so she's listening to this show now. Yeah, so you're on right now. You're on your mom's house. Oh, that's what it is. Oh. That's now, what it is. but you were telling me you checked out my thing and you think my vocabulary is terrible you said it's horrendous it's as bad as your first bar fart <laughs> what the my vocabulary is as bad as my father's well, fart she might be right about that oh, right that you said you saw that you're like what what does this have to do with anything <laughs> i don't know but i what i don't understand is you told why me... Go ahead. No, what i wanted to ask you since you are asking me now i'm going to ask you why mm -hmm. to be funny it has to be either talking about farts or mm -hmm. cursing all the time why, why? She nailed it. That's all I hear. Yeah. And then you have the balls to invite me to your show, and for 10 minutes I have to to, to bite up all this sex stuff that is yeah. on your mother, and I have to be watching it there, and then your friends are in front of me. <laughs> so I have to, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't think you understood what I was saying then. Well, you are very graphic. <laughs> <laughs> I might be old, but I'm not retarded. <laughs> I like <that. laughs> uh, I, I, uh, 
up, but you you called me and you said uh, that you were on my Facebook page and that I wrote, "Hey, I want to shit on your table" or something. Yes, you did. Yes, you what? did. I, what did I say that? <laughs> who did I say that to? I want to shit yeah. on. How your can table? I know? I click on the in the page, and then you say, "Yeah, man, I I wish I could shit in his table." <laughs> And I no. said, what? And, I mean, obviously, I closed the page. I didn't want to investigate who do you want <laughs> to <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't want to shit on anybody's table. I don't think that was me. Oh, that was you. It's your page. <laughs> oh, I think really? You, invite, you know what you should do? You should invite that to one of your shows. Yeah. And to do a stand-up with you. And then you can do Dad? the whole show. Yes. I'm not kidding you. Uh -huh. That's a good idea. You will love it. And then the two of you can talk about this. Disgusting thing, but be sure to invite the people. I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do a show in Florida and invite Top Dog and all your mom's house. Top Dog, absolutely. Um, so there's more, but I'll save that for the next so time. Great. Uh, we got to get out of here. I love your mom so much. Um, well, this has been a good time. I think maybe it's time for just change it up a little bit. What do you say we have some fun around here? Because <laughs> like, we're so serious. Do you like some fun? Um, I like fun. Yeah. Do you like fun? Hey, buddy. It's Top Dog. Hey, buddy. It's Top Dog. <laughs> hey, buddy. It's Top Dog. You need to wipe hey, down. <laughs> it's Top Dog. <laughs> oh, man. So here's last <laughs> week. Um, we uh, played some audio of Mamita. And that's my mom talking about Top Dog. We didn't get through it all, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up around where we left off. This is going to be a little bit of what was in last week, just to give you some uh, background about what's going on. But we're talking a lot of about Top Dog uh, with Mamita here, and we'll just kind of... Well, who knows him best, but his wife? No, I mean, you, everyone's a fan of Top Dog, and I promise I'll get some Top Dog audio we've been having some interesting conversations so well i believe you guys have some alone time coming up top dog and i are taking a trip in june oh my god and i'm real excited about you, it you guys are gonna be sharing a room oh yeah and i'm i mean i'm not just <laughs> i'm not bringing the phone i'm bringing the digital recorder yeah, yeah, like yeah. the high-end zoom <laughs> And I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get hours of audio of Top Dog. Oh my god! So, but this is oh. in the meantime. Let's just get into Mamita talking about. Well, yeah. Let's see where we are here. Forty years of marriage, by the way, oh, to Top Dog. Is... She knows him better than himself. Oh, uh, I, I. Uh, but you, you called me and you said uh, that you were on my Facebook page and that I wrote, "Hey, I want to shit on your table" or something. Yes, you did. Yes, you <laughs> did. So, I, what did this, I say? To this was a. We played this last week, but this yeah. will take us into where we are, where we're going next. Okay. Who did I say that to? How can I know? I click on the in the page, and then you say, "Yeah, man, I I wish I could shit in his table." <laughs> <laughs> I like when your mom uses and slang. I said, what? Me I mean, yeah, obviously, man. I closed the page. I didn't want to investigate. Who do you want to shit on? <laughs> Shit on anybody's table. I don't think that was me. Oh, that was you. It's your page. I think really? you should invite. You know what you should do? You should invite that to one of your shows. Yeah. And to do a stand up with you, and then you can do Dad? the whole show. Yes, I'm not kidding you. Uh -huh. He will love it, and then the two of you can talk about this disgusting thing. But be sure to invite the people. I won't be there. We just talk about taking chips. That's all you guys will talk. <laughs> the size who did it bigger, how long it lasts. <laughs> She's the right. The who didn't. And then maybe, maybe you find somebody who thinks it's funny. Uh, so, <laughs> when like he you. farted in, when he farted, <laughs> when he farted in church, did people move? No, they turned around. That was embarrassing. So, just in case, <laughs> in case you are just tuning in, tuning in, or listening to this podcast. He didn't listen to the previous one. She explained on the last one that they were in church, I think on Easter. Yeah. And uh, he farted, <laughs> and it was so strong. She was like, oh, my God. And then people were turning around, and she asked him if he farted, and he oh said no. God. And she was like, well, these people, somebody did. And then he started to laugh. 
<laughs> because he did fart. Of and course. It, like was clearing out the aisle basically. And she's totally embarrassed by it. That's so awful. They, they turn around and look like, at you? Uh, well, they turn around like, where is this coming from? <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> poor people. I couldn't believe he did that. I mean, why doesn't he, ah, no, then he left, he got up after that one, huh? five minutes later, mm-hmm. he got up, a step on the side so everybody can watch him mm-hmm. and come back. And the smell came again, and I said, you did it again? He said, yeah, but didn't you notice I stepped back? And I said, well, everybody's watching you, getting off the, 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 the ¿cómo se dice? The, the pew. The pew, take two steps, fart, and come back. <laughs> At least go outside. Do you realize what he did? So, mm. okay, so what he did was, the first time he lied about it, he farted, and she was like, what is that awful smell? And then... He admits, oh, that was me. And then since he got a, a verbal lashing from her, what he did was, when he had to fart again, he stepped out into the aisle. Oh, my God. Farted and then sat back in the seat. <laughs> and she's like, did you just fart again? He's like, yeah, but I stepped out there. But he stepped two feet away. Right. Like, he just walked. It's like if right. I walk over there and right. I just fart over there. And I go, yeah, but I farted over there. <laughs> <laughs> He and fo- he's like, didn't I do the right but thing? But in his mind, he followed the rules. He followed. He's like, I didn't fart here. I he farted over there. what he was supposed to do, buddy. I farted 24 inches from here. Oh, my God. So no, no, no. Let, let the people in church know I'm the one who's doing it. He moved two feet away, farted, <laughs> and came back. One feet away. One foot. <laughs> one. It's like you are at the end of the, the pew, and you step yeah. out. Yes. Yeah. Fart. And then, uh, I come back. <laughs> So what he did is announce it now. Now there is not even doubt. Now everybody knows who did it. Jeez, they must have smelled horrendous. 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 And I don't know if there is another word in English that we match up that one. But <laughs> She so can't even find the words. Now picture this in the bed. Oh, my God. In what? bed, yeah. Oh, God. And they told me, you are sleeping and then all of a sudden, a horrible smell wakes you up. <laughs> Oh, I think I know. Woken you up before? Oh yes. <laughs> oh, my oh yes. Oh my God. Picture how that is if he wakes you up. It wakes you up? I don't know if that even. Have you had that happen? Have you, I had that happen? Where you're in a deep slump, like the middle of the Babe, sleep? I'm living with Top Dog Jr. <laughs> Come on. Do you think the apple falls far from the fart tree? <laughs> you gotta be shitting me, man. When does that happen with us? You think that I don't relate to Charo in a fundamental way? Like, this is the story of my life, too. This is come why I can't on. laugh at it. I mean, it's so it's so close to home. I Come on. Boo, I have woken up from you. Rip, you wake me up farting every morning. No, that's not what we're talking about. That's different. The smell. She's talking about She's talking the about being smell. in a sleep, a slumber. Like, Duh. you're out. Yeah. And the smell hits you and you go, Of course. What was it? When, when does that happen? Uh, a lot. You wake up just to shit. You think that you haven't farted you, and woken no, me up? Man. That's different. That's I wake up. I'm like, I'm going to go take a shit. And I wake you up from getting the physical act of getting out of bed. I'm talking about just, just the, the smell. smell hitting your nose while you're in a deep sleep and you're being like, holy shit, what is that? <laughs> that's happened a lot. Come it's on. It's happened. I, I don't want to say that it's never happened. Because but you it can't has. specify one really. You know what it reminds me of when I was in Afghanistan and Kandahar? <laughs> uh huh. Every now and then, a waft of sewage would come sure. through my clue, my contained living unit. Mm-hmm. And it's because there was a poo pond in Kandahar. Right. And that is similar to sleeping next door to you, where all of a sudden I'll wake up in a panic, like, am I in Afghanistan? And mm. then, no, it's just Tom's farts. That is so rude. Was, all right, rude. Uh, I know that I've, I've shared a hotel room with him where I've <laughs> yeah. had to leave the room. Oh. I said, I, I came, it's like, like we, haven't, we weren't asleep, but I was, you know, sharing like a, a room and I just, I, I, I there's windows, it's not enough. <laughs> I got to step outside for a minute. Well, but you know I had what to leave. Happened? Of course. Don't forget that they took a chunk of his intestine, of his large intestine. Right, right, right yeah. He eats hot dogs <gasps> with uh, Cheetos and, and I can't even come up. Popeye. We went to Popeye for dinner. All Popeye's this, chicken? Popeye <laughs> deep fried chicken. Oh, my the, God. With the mashed potatoes with gravy. Why are they eating this shit? Oh, I, I put a hot dog in there and give me a creamy soup from one of those places. And then we come home and get in bed. What do you think is coming out of there? <laughs> <laughs> Just a 
garbage, but just a garbage disposal it's just, system. It's just, I don't understand. I say, I, God is so good to you that gives you life because it shouldn't be just a fire. It should be one of these days is going to be a heart attack. Oh, man. I don't say that. No, it scares me to death. Don't forget yeah. he has a problem with his heart, Tommy. I know. So you better, you got you to have him. Why do you even let a, a stop go to Popeye's chicken? You can't eat Popeye's well, that chicken. day, the, what happened is we went to the church. The, yeah. the, the mass was at 5.30, and he saw it was going to be full, so he made me be there at 5. And it finished at 7.30. So oh, my God. two and a half hours there, and he says, I'm starving. And the truth is, I was too. Yeah, and okay. Says, well, let's stop someplace. The closest place to the church was Popeye's. And the truck drivers and us. Mm -hmm. And the what? In, the truck drivers, because it's one of those places where the truck drivers stop. What is that called? Yeah. Yeah, like a truck stop. Yeah. Yeah, it's a truck stop. It's a gas station and Popeyes and us and them. <laughs> and them. <laughs> and so you guys had that, and then the farts just started coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then, of course, you feel full because you ate so well that let's yeah. lay in bed and watch another killing. Another yeah. killing. <laughs> Did you notice after, after he had the intestines removed that, he, that the farts got worse? Did oh, they get worse? Course. Yeah, of course. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah. wow, yeah. At the beginning, it didn't, because he was eating extremely healthy. He was scared to death. So it, it was working great. He lost weight. He looked yeah. great, and there's no smells in the house. <laughs> Once he feels completely recovered, okay, let's attack this one again. Mm. And that's <laughs> oh, my God. So, oh, wait, wait a minute. minute. Your dad basically okay. had half his intestines removed. Right. And then for a while was like, I better play this safe. Yeah, this is 25 years ago. Sure. And then so one day he's like, ah, just fuck it. Let's go to Popeye's. Well, I think and it's then... like, you know, you're real scared after a major surgery. Of course. So he yeah. was taking it probably really easily and then really easy. And then when he's like, oh, like, I'm not like, it's not going to rip a hole in me. You slowly <laughs> get into like, let's have a steak. Let's right. have a yeah. varsity level. Right. Eating. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then he's at Popeye's. Right. <laughs> even eat a Popeye's. Popeye's would destroy me, and I'm pretty strong. Yeah, I don't, I don't eat I mean, that shit either, man. I eat some fucking high octane garbage. I've become more of an elitist about eating stuff. Do you know? I mean, I'll eat well, like ethnic, yeah, 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 uh, cheap shit, but I don't eat like the fried shit really anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'll go daring. Like, yeah, we'll do the daring Korean barbecue. street food. Yeah, yeah all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Yeah, but like janky shit. That, no. That's rough. It's hard to digest that it stuff. Is, that's man. all. No, not that we're above it, but yeah. Jesus Christ. Let's see what she says here. That's unbelievable, man. It's a scary. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, is but there I anything you. you... I love you, too. Is there anything you want to say about Top Dog? He's kind of the main attraction of our show. <laughs> the, the, the best thing I can say about him is there is no man better than him. Aww. No man better than him. I believe there you. There is no that. man better than him in every sense. He's the best husband anybody can have he the really best is. father yep. anybody can have the yeah, best yep. friend anybody can have the most loyal employee the most dedicated the most honest human being so other than his heart he's and well actually if you want to think of it that way he's also the best farter of anybody he, well so <laughs> since that is not in my favorite list you can put yeah. it in your list but for me yeah. in every sense there is no man better than him there is it I, I you say I, I love do you say I love top dog I love him to pieces. Say it, though. Pieces. I love Top Dog Aww. to pieces. There is no man in this world like him, and I love Aww. him, love him, love him, love him. <laughs> okay. I love you, Mom. I, I love, love you. you. Okay, I love you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, I love your family. God uh, damn there's it. There's Mamita giving you the inside scoop on Top Dog and his farts, and also saying that she loves him very much. Can you believe that that's, his, that's her one gripe with Top Dog, is the farts? That's it, man. Poor guy. All right, we we'll guess get through. Hey, buddy. It's Top Dog. <laughs> hey, buddy. It's Top Dog. Hey, buddy. It's Top Dog. Do you make that? <laughs> you need to wipe hey, down. Buddy. It's Top Dog. That's uh, that's my dad, Top Dog. <laughs> Your uh, dad said that? Hey, well, buddy, it's Top Dog? No, I, that's my impression of him. Oh, okay. He's, he said you need to wipe down the... the so... That's just some advice he gave me. What's uh yeah, I I I know I know that's one of your sayings to wipe down. What does that mean? It's just <laughs> something he told me one time when I said I keep 
<laughs> I'm wiping and it's just not getting clean. Like your just, ass. Like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, you need to wipe down. So that's just some ad- advice. Just, just so like back make... to front. Um, I think so. I think that's <laughs> but, what he was but saying. But that's so wrong. No, that's yeah. wrong. You don't yeah, wipe I know. back to front. No. Don't get frontal dingleberry. Balls. He's uh here. We got a little bit of him today. The, the listeners are real big fans of Top Dog. He gives his insight on a lot of things. So your so. dad calls himself Top Dog, or he yeah. calls you? Oh, yeah, himself. Everybody calls. Wait, him that everyone calls family. him Top Dog. Yeah. Oh, is he an army guy or something? He was in the Marine Corps. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but um, well, let me guess what he what. Let me guess what he does now. Hmm. Is he kind of self-employed? No. All right. I wasn't really feeling that anyway. Uh, <laughs> hmm. He, uh, I don't know. He's some kind of contractor or something. Uh, we shouldn't say, should we? No, I don't, I don't give it away. I'll uh, tell you, I'll tell you what he does. Yeah. Here, here, the, I just got him on the phone today for a little bit. And um, he's got right into it pretty much. Sometimes he gives, I don't know what this sounds like actually. I see not. Hello. Oh, there we go. Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. How you doing? It's really him. Yeah, it's him. Good. How, how are you? Well, I'm just watching Survivor with Mom. Survivor going? What's that? How is it going? Oh, it's going good. You know, we kind of got into this game over the years, and. Your mother is pretty good at figuring out what's going. The man, it's first base. This is a man versus woman thing, and the men are stupid, and the women are outsmarting them. And it really is kind of embarrassing if you're a man that you know women. Woman could outsmart you. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, we all bought up. What's what do you think? You all brought up what? What do you think? We all brought up that you know, men, men, men were doctors, women were nurses, you know. Yeah. You know that kind of stuff, and mm-hmm. and sure. you know, and now we pretty much have to share the stage with them in most things. <laughs> yeah, some and a lot of broads aren't that bright, right? What's that? A lot of broads aren't that bright. Well, a whole lot of broads aren't that bright. <laughs> You Does know. he know you do this? That you play it on? Yeah. Most of them go to. He forgets. Look you know. <laughs> you know. They go to. You crack State universities up. And begin with southeast or southwest. Okay. Ah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> do you think that women should be allowed to be uh, Marines? Like in, like well, not just in the corps, but like a front line fighting. Not front line fighting, of course not. <laughs> How come? <laughs> because they don't well, have the. They don't have the strength. Or the or the yeah. physical worth worth all to get into you know hand to hand combat, and it requires sure. a certain guy who has to have basically that animalistic uh, gene in his body, and, and most women don't have that. <laughs> yeah, or the mental aptitude either, right? Yeah, the mental aptitude. You know, you have to want to kill. I mean, yeah. you know, if you can't, I mean, it's they're good. Women look good in uniforms because you know. They do their hair, their makeup, and stuff like that, and they look good. But in combat, women don't want to kill things, though. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not true. So, real quick, I wanted to ask you. I know, I know you're busy, uh, but I this wanted to ask you here. about. You said yesterday you had a really interesting thing happen when you went to take a shit. <laughs> well, I, I sat down and, and I thought I was going to have a <laughs> thunder dump, <laughs> but uh, I had a really kind of a a just a kind of a a sloppy pop, which is <laughs> this isn't real. Yeah, that was a blast. <laughs> yeah. was a blast. You just I had a blast. And, and and ask your dad right. about a shit. Blasters are is smaller, but they they they. <laughs> was a, a I think it was mini. a blaster. That was a blast. He's, I had a blast. He's being funny though. It no. didn't have a thunder no. <laughs> Blasters are is smaller, but they 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 go out real fast, <laughs> and they kind of. They kind of hit, it's kind of hit the inside of the bowl and kind of bounced back in your cheek. So when I was lighting, I, I noticed that even though I, I thought I was done, you know, wiping, I kept saying on the paper, the little stuff off from the left side of the cheek. So I had to, I had to go left handed on my wiping. Cause I had, Wait, oh, why my. are you saying what the fuck? Tell me why. I mean, what, like. 
This is a crazy conversation. <laughs> really? Does it sound crazy to you? That's really? cra- Well, I mean, like, yeah, the amount of like, why? I don't. <laughs> Wait, do you, do you not get talk, into that? You don't talk about brown with your parents at home. I mean, whatever. Yeah, I, it's not like I don't. I'm not like this is outrageous. It's just the amount of detail into oh, yeah. like oh, yeah. the wiping and then the side <laughs> of the cheek that there was still shit on the. Pa- it's like. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anything else that's like this is a lot of detail no, about this is, shit. Oh, yeah. this is totally normal. But that's all. That's and all you genuine. guys talk about. No, we talk about other things. But this is stuff he really. T- he said he feels like this is something he can't talk about uh-huh. with other people because they just don't get it. Right. But that he wanted to have a thunder dump, but he just had like a rapid a fire blaster. Blaster. He has names for different styles. <laughs> but yeah, the thunder dump is what. Well, uh, <laughs> here I, I asked him about it because I didn't. Oh shit, this wasn't. It's, it's, I kept seeing on the paper a little, little stuff on from the left side of the cheek, so I had to I had to go left-handed on my wiping because I had oh, stuff right. on my left cheek. What? Yeah, I had to go left-handed. We were talking about. Yeah, yeah. And this how, is really the first. Is, it's, yeah, it is. It's, 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 it's if you've never wiped left-handed before, it, it requires you to think a little bit, you know, and. How'd you do? And, well, I did it good, of course, you know, but uh, <laughs> you know, I got, I got, got it out. Everything Does he clean, use you know, like and, uh, uh, wet wipes at all? But you, you have to be careful. Oh no, he uses Clorox wipes. The other thing is, is that Nuh-uh. when you have one of those thunder the ones blasts for cleaning stuff, yeah, you're not allowed to do that. Dump and <laughs> you got, a, you got like, a, you know, a long sleeve shirt on. You have to be yeah. careful; you don't get some of that on your shirt. Oh my God! Oh, sure. Oh, you gotta check out the cheek. Gotta, well, you gotta check out yeah, the cheek. You gotta kind of do like a reconnaissance with a big piece of paper, kind of rub it around, uh-huh. see where it comes up, make sure there's none yeah. on on some of the cheeks. Otherwise, you can you can get some on it when you on your your sleeve or something. Of course, that really looks good when you go to shake hands with somebody. Okay. <laughs> right, right. And what is the difference between a thunder dump and a blaster? Because you said. I thought I was going to have a thunder, thunder dump, but I had a blaster. Oh, a, a, a blaster is <laughs> much smaller amount. It comes out oh, okay. just as fast, <laughs> almost mm-hmm. faster, mm-hmm. you know, not as much material, and, uh, but just, just as much gas. And it made a lot of noise, <laughs> but it has a tendency to splat. It kind of splattered the inside of the bowl a little bit. So I had a little <laughs> splashback. <laughs> How old your dad? <laughs> How old is he? He is, uh, I guess, around 64, 65. All right. Yeah. It's just amazing how <laughs> long he'll go on about this. Dude. It's kind of his hobby. Like He really thinks about it and analyzes it and stuff. And yeah, My son called me. I had to tell him about my shits <laughs> for a few hours. Yeah. Pause survivor, honey. Tommy's on the phone. I got to describe all my shits I've had since the last time I talked to him. He told us on a podcast once, I almost lost my mind, that um, that he's been using countertop oh, wipes, Clorox yeah. wipes. You can't do that. I, that's, that's what, what I thought. thought. Yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> he, said it kills, he said it kills all the bacteria <sighs> and that he hasn't had any butthole itch in a month. How's right. that for proof, huh? I just don't think you should use Clorox wipes. I 100% thought. agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think most people agree. My mom said that she found them pee, you guys. in the bathroom, and she took them to the kitchen because she thought they were placed there on accident. Uh-huh. And then she found them back in the bathroom, and he, she was like, "Why are these here?" And he, he goes, "I used those to wipe." Wow. Yeah, yeah. How do you get the? Um, well, I guess we talk about it afterwards. But how do you record those? Because I've been trying to record phone calls, and there's no. Oh, there's a uh, an app. Oh, there. Oh, okay. Let me know the yeah. app. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to do a. Uh, I have a great idea for a podcast. Uh, a phone recording thing. Yeah, it would all be done over the phone. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, but right. I looked into some apps. I thought that like because there's legalities with like you're not allowed to record people. Yeah. And so I thought that like all the apps I looked into, you could only record your own voice. And then I bought a bunch of shit. This discloses that you're recording when you call people. Okay. So they know you're recording them. Is oh, there, that's fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because there is a law about. That. Let me see. Hold on a second. Where you basically really just, you know, you you put enough in there, you're gonna have to flush it twice. Flush <laughs> 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 out the bowl, basically. Yeah, break it basically, break it shit out the bowl. Yeah. 
And then a thunder dump is, 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 has larger mass to it? Oh, well, thunder dump is much larger mass where <laughs> you basically really just, you know, you, you put enough in there, you're going to have to flush it twice. Last year, you only had to flush once. Thunder dumps, definitely a two flusher. <laughs> I love your expression. Great, um, yeah. I love yeah. it. Your expression is like, this is not real. This is well, not it's It seems it's almost really like, interesting. No, I believe that it's real. I mean, I th- you know, there was a moment where I thought maybe it was a, uh, maybe it was a bit. Yeah, no. But no. It's, it is, I do find it fascinating that... Uh, that he'll just go on. Yeah, about he loves that. to talk about it, man. He, he really it. does. Yeah, for him, he feels like you know it's a real joy to share that. Um, yeah, we can't. I don't feel like we can leave on. No. This oh God, no. What do we got? Well, Let's fucking uh, lighten it up. Hey, buddy. Uh, it's top dog. Speaking of killer. Hey, buddy. It's top dog. Hey, buddy. It's top dog. You need to wipe hey, down. It's top dog. There you um, go. There you go. So a few episodes ago, you know, we were talking about this. We um we played some Top Dog audio for uh, Brendan Walsh, and he was <laughs> yeah. alarmed. And I also felt like I was it was it was the time that I thought, you know what? I think Top Dog audio should only be reserved when it's us two. We know him the most. Yeah. Our audience appreciates him. I think throwing him at a newbie <laughs> is just too much. I don't it's, think they know what to do. It's too advanced. It's too advanced to move. They don't know what to do. So from now on, Top Dog Audio is only when we're alone. When it's just you and I. Yeah. You agree with me? And our listeners. Yeah, of course. The very the inner circle, if you Yeah, will. that's the inner circle. Well, because we can go from talking about the Holocaust to talking about Top Dog yeah. comfortably. Um, so I played some of this last time. Well, not last time, but when we had Brendan, and I'm not sure exactly where we are on this. They, but... they, they, they go out real fast, oh. and uh, they kind of... They kind of hit, it's kind of hit the inside of the bowl and kind of bounce back in your cheeks. So when I was wiping, I, I noticed that even though I, I thought I was done, you know, wiping, I kept saying on the paper a little, little stuff on from the left side of the cheek. So I had to, I had to go left handed on my wiping. That's something we never really talked about. Have you ever wiped yeah. with your other hand? Never. That'd be Not, difficult to do when you think about it, right? Wait, I know I did once when I hurt my arm. There you my, go. My predominant. It's, it was yeah. different, though, I bet. Yes, it's very different. Like right now, if I tie down your right hand so you can't use it and you had to wipe your left, it, it'd take a little bit of, your hand's not used to that movement. I don't want to think about it, yeah. really. It's tough. Too tough. Because mm-hmm. I had to oh, right. my left cheek. Yeah, I had to go left We were hand. talking about that. Yeah, yeah. It's really the first thing. It is. It's the white it's your, if you've never wiped left-handed before, it, it requires you to think a little bit, you know. And think a little think. bit. How'd you do? And, well, I did it good, of course, you know. But, um, yeah. you know, I got I got, got it out. Everything's clean, you know. And uh, But you, you have to be careful, you know. The other thing is, is that when you have one of those thunder blast <laughs> dumps and you got a, you got like, a, you know, a long sleeve shirt on, you have to be yeah. careful you don't get some of that on your shirt. That's true. Now, what's that music oh, cool. in the background? That's my dad. That's how my dad talks to me, if you if you have not uh, picked up on it. Whenever I talk to my dad, there's usually a, hey, could you turn that down? <laughs> and I guess we skipped over that part. Yeah, because I know I've heard you say that every time you talk to Every him. single. Do you but think I, you could turn that off? Right. I thought it was just a. I thought it was like a football game, but it's like creepy no. music. There's like a show on. Oh, okay. and he insists on having the volume full blast as we talk. <laughs> yes, uh, you gotta check that. But this is a good point. Like, you ever have like a like a jacket or on or something? Okay, and it's like coming up. You 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 got to roll up the 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 sleeve so yes. that it's not on. You know, the, uh, you know I've you get almost, nervous about it. I've almost had tragic encounters with sleeves. With sleeves, and, sure, and, and wiping and brown. Yeah. Mm. Well, you got to check out yeah, the You got to kind of do like a reconnaissance with a big piece of paper, kind of rub it around uh-huh. and see where it comes up. Make sure there's none yeah. on on some of the cheeks. Otherwise, you can you can get some on it when you on your your sleeve or something. Of course, that really looks good when you go to shake hands with somebody. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. And what is the difference between a sun dump? And a blaster, because you said, I thought it was... And some of this I realize we're revisiting, but I'm trying to get you back in the mood, you know. Some of this was played on that episode, but 
It's a new again to us, right? We haven't heard it. So. You know what? I'm not sure I remember the difference between yeah. a thunder dump and, and a, a blaster. blaster. It's yeah. been a, it's been a, thunder, a couple thunder weeks. dump, but I had a blaster. Oh, a, a, a blaster is <laughs> a much smaller amount. It comes out oh, okay. just as fast, almost mm-hmm. faster. You know, not almost as much faster. material, and, uh, but just, just as much gas. And it made a lot of noise, but it has a tendency to splat. But it kind of splattered the inside of the bowl a little bit. <laughs> So I had a little splashback on this one. I can like ricochet off the ball, basically. <laughs> yeah, ricochet basically ricochet off the ball. Yeah. Shrapnel. And then a thunder dump yes. is, 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 is has larger mass to it. Oh, well, thunder dump is much larger mass, where you basically really just, you know, you you put enough in there, you're gonna have to flush it twice. <laughs> Last year, you only have to flush once. Thunder dumps definitely a two flusher. <laughs> that's great, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, that's fantastic. I always want to ask you. Um, also, oh, you told me one time what was what was like your weightlifting routine like when you were in, in when you were really in the. Sh- the I don't know how much we didn't get to this. I don't think, but um, I don't think so. So Top Dog was really into weightlifting from the time he was 12 until he was, he was competitive up until like around 30. So I don't know. That's a lot of years, right? That's a, that's a ton. What is it called? A brick shit house? A brick shit house? Yeah. Right. He's a brick shit house. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, I always get it confused with shit. But he's a shit still, brick house, a brick shit house. He still power lifts. Yeah. At sixty five. <laughs> he still does weight weightlifting is definitely a huge part of his life. He's solid meat. Yeah. Like the way his body is, it's solid. Yeah. yeah. He's uh he's definitely uh I mean, No no cheese, all meat. He's meat and um loves weightlifting, loves the the discipline involved with weightlifting, mm. loves it. Absolutely love I mean, as far as uh, all my early memories are these pictures of him weightlifting trophies. We used to have hundreds of trophies from his weightlifting tournaments. And uh, my mom accidentally threw them out one time when we moved. What? Yeah, it was really bad. Um, we'll hey, so I was going to say, I've never seen those trophies. Yeah, they're what are you talking about? Oh, oh my God. Are you serious? Hundreds. That's why he's going to murder her one day. <laughs> or my trophies. Okay, so yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, Shit. Well, I worked out five days a week. Generally, um, Monday, Tuesday, skip Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, work out on Sunday. Um, and generally in the gym, two and a half hours a pop. Two and a half hours. Jesus. Two and a half hours. Yeah. And yeah. it was, it was a definitely a priority to you, right? Well, if, let's put it this way. If I had the choice of going out with a date on a Friday night, we're going to the gym. Uh-huh. I went to the gym first. <laughs> you went to the gym first? Uh-huh. Absolutely. So if she was like, pick me up at 6, you'd be like, well, I'll pick you up at 9 because I'm doing my workout. So I'm going to go to the gym. And that cost me a couple of relationships. Oh, really? <laughs> Do you care that it cost you those relationships? Uh, one of them I kind of cared, but, you know, I said to myself, <laughs> one this, of them. this is important to me. <laughs> not care. This is important yeah. to me, and if they're not into me, then they're not into me, okay? And right. it was really important to me. That, you, know, and, you know, that's good logic. That's a good, that's a good lesson, though. Let me tell you something. People always are trying to figure out things about relationships yep. and changing themselves. The best favor you can ever do mm-hmm. to, to really um, find real happiness in a relationship is not depart from who you are. In other words, if the person life, is not man. in, yeah, the person, if you're hiding this or you're not, you know, if they're not falling for the genuine you, you're fucking. On you're to fucking, the next yeah, one. Man. Be Run yourself. Run and, and, and be yourself from the jump. Don't so fucking hold it back. Talk dog, uh, you know, may have some broads who were like, hey, what's more important, weightlifting <laughs> or, or come and pick me up? And he was like, weightlifting. Yeah. But in the end, he found somebody who was better for him, you know? That's right. Yeah. And who doesn't mind that he goes to do weightlifting? That's the thing, man. There People you go. always ask me about, you know, uh, my relationship with you and, and how stand up plays a role in it. And I'm like, look, if I have a show Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then get on a flight for shows Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and fly home Sunday, and I did shows every night of the week, my wife goes, I get it. Right. There's a lot of chicks out there 
who would be like, what the fuck? You did a show last night. Well, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Yes. Though? No, I agree. And uh, But I always tell people that because people have a hard time. They're like, well, how is it when you guys are both comedians? Yeah. You see each other? Of course we see each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, of course we do. Uh, but it helps that we're both comics and we can understand each other's But that's an example of what I'm saying. Like, and yeah, it could yeah, be yeah. vice versa. It could be a guy. A guy could be with you and be like, you just did a show last night. I know. And like, yeah, I got to do a show I tonight. I would hate that. I and listen, dudes listening, if some girl does give you grief about your life, about what you do, about yeah. what you like, run. Run. Run for the hills. Do not marry her. If you're a guy, for instance, I knew a guy... He likes to go mudding or whatever that's yeah, called. Sure. Like you get your your four wheeler, yeah. you drive. I've out been to, mudding before, right? You go to Rancho yeah. Cucamonga or whatever the fuck it is, and you're Lake Okeechobee, Florida. Yeah, I know where you're at. Sure, and you like to drink a bunch of beers, get hammered, and and ride around. Muck that's, City. If that's your thing, yeah. Stick to your guns because you're gonna find a girl definitely man. who's gonna like that too. You like smoking weed? Then Don't. find a girl that yeah. likes to smoke weed. It's not that hard. Yeah. God damn it! Yeah. Stick to stick like to what anal? you like. Absolutely. Get in there. Five fists in one anus. Don't go for a chick who's like, oh, no, uh, the tip anus. of your pinky feels like a lot. It's not. Babe. Put a fucking fist up in there. That's what you like. Is that what you're into? What? <sighs> Got personal, guys. Oops. I'm, I'm not into that. And yeah, I'm not. I don't, you know what? I don't, I don't on... like those gaping shots All in right. the pornos God when they it. hold the okay, asshole open. Can we open play the rest of the top dog? Like, Look Nobody at the likes intestines. I don't like yeah. that either. You know, that's, a, that's a big lesson. That's a huge lesson to learn in life. I guess it is. Actually, right. There you, you go. Know, I was, you are. And I was state champion there. and so. How many times did you win state? Once in Kentucky and once in, in, in Ohio. Do you guys just hear that? Top dog. <laughs> Two-time state champion. There you go. Weightlifter. Kentucky and Ohio. That's boss right there. It's American right there. 61 Kentucky featherweight champion, 75 Ohio light heavyweight champion. Look at that. <laughs> no shit. Mm hmm. That's fantastic, man. And fourth in the Teenage Nationals in 62. Fourth in the Teenage Nationals in 62, everybody. Top dog. You were fourth in Teenage Nationals? Mm hmm. Is a lightweight in sixty-two. Very impressive. What age did you start doing the weightlifting? Uh, my father got me a set of weights when I was my twelfth birthday, oh. and I started working out with him every day. Every and day. I did for a year. Three hundred sixty-five so wow. days. Never missed. <laughs> every He's single so day. Yeah. Man. Hey, just real quick because um, you know. For the women listeners, like, we don't want them to be, you know, uh, hurt by what you said about broads. Could you say something nice about broads? <laughs> you know, make them feel good? Well, you know, I tell you, I think that it, it's amazing, you know, how much men care about broads, okay? <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, it, it, it's amazing. Uh -huh. This In is, fact, by the we, way, hey, can you say something nice about women that I just asked him? And his answer was, it's amazing how much men care about broads. Wow. That was his nice comment. You know what that means, though? Right. It's amazing how much I care about broads. Well, ah, make, very interesting. And I've learned this uh, from my therapy, is that whenever you make sweeping generalizations, it tends to be about you. That's interesting. He if they really, they, we really run our lives to please them, if you yeah. think about it. He they, yeah. they, have, they have control over us, and we just don't want to admit it. Oh, right. And the reason that they have control over us is because of those little hot clams between their legs. Oh, so. my God. Well, that, that not, that's one of the little <laughs> things. But okay. basically, when you're young, yeah. men chase women. Right. Now, let me, tell, let me alert you on a little fact of life, Tommy. Oh, shit. Okay. Most, okay. When, you know, when you're 18, 19, 20, up into your 30s, men chase women. Mm -hmm. Because women are beautiful. Men are kind of all kind of the same, you know, mm -hmm. and they're interested in getting laid and this and that. Yeah. Well, what happens 40 years later when, you know, the guys and gals start to die and you got widows and the widowers chasing each other, the power goes back to the man because then the men are successful and the right. women, and the women, you know, because they're not, clearly not as pretty as they used to be, uh, they... They pursue men. Oh. They pursue men. It's very interesting. 
and because they're more interested in financial security. For example, you ever seen these ads in the paper? It says, "Men seeking women, women seeking men." Yeah. All right. Go yeah. through those. About every third one, where it says "women seeking man." You know, two things women like to do. They want to walk on a beach, and they want financially secure. <clears throat> right about that. So it is an interesting dynamic that changes mm-hmm. over time. Mm-hmm. He's pointing out. Is it, it is actually. It's very, it's very accurate. And he gets to see it firsthand because he's older. So in other words, he has a lot of friends yeah. who are in that position. I get to see it firsthand from both my uh, four parents that are divorced. That's right. You so, do. I've seen now one, two, three divorces I've lived through with my parents. Yeah. And he's absolutely right. Women get a little bit older. Mm. Everybody gets a little scared. He is pursued, that one. Oh, my dad? Yeah. My, yes, absolutely. He's actually a glowing example of what he's talking about. Absolutely. And he's right. Tables turn, guys, so hang in there. Hang in there. These bra- <laughs> Our tits <laughs> shrivel. We look like shit. And we <laughs> Start chasing you. We come after you. We start chasing you. There you go. But every yeah. third one says financially secure, which is a, a euphemism is I really don't want to spend any of my money and I want you to take care of me, okay? Right, right. Is. Now. So are you looking look forward the, to this happening? No, 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 I'm not. Oh. I'm not. First of all, I, I would be, you know, if I were available, I, I wouldn't have time to handle all the mail, okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> you'd be getting so much fan mail? So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what they want. Somebody that's financially secure, visible in the community. Is that how modesty is visible about that? Visible in the community. You know, yeah. uh, treats and So it would be like, top dog would be like top of the list, you're saying? Oh, I would. I would. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm nice to women. I like women, you know. And uh, now on the other hand, uh, so men, men don't. men don't necessarily have to chase women when they get above the age of 70. It's the other way around. Yeah, so just yeah. factors. All you got to do There's is more. hang in there till you're 70, guys. 70 until your peckers That's don't That's the really hot work. number. Aww. More widowers than widows. So the odds have changed. It's very interesting. Yeah, and so I see this because I live in a retirement community. And I'm like, yeah. hey, you, you know, you talked about a cat fight. You know. Yeah. And these women, they still ask you over for this or that, you know, or. Yeah. You know, they'll make up some kind of problem. They can't get something open in the house. <laughs> Did you come over and help me get Where does he live? Where do we call your get dad? The, you know, the, the, the pot off the pan or something Is he like a club that. Med? The, yeah. Oh, you're so strong. <laughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? Can, sure. Oh. I can only imagine how they battle over you. Oh. Um, I don't believe it. Now, wait. When were you first dating? Probably like 64, 65, something like that? Actually, so that actually, I, I had the very first date I had in my life was a girl named Ann Hollenbeck. We've got to find Ann Hollenbeck. <laughs> I know. Now, Ann Hollenbeck was Ann Hollenbeck. the most attractive girl in, I was, this was the eighth grade. Eighth grade. And my parents drove. She was a, a D cup in the eighth grade. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, poor girl! Yeah. My parents drove us to a park. Big old titties and top dogs. Uh, that was my very first date. So wait, what year would that have been? Uh, let's see. That would have been uh, nineteen nineteen sixty one. Okay, so will you say this for the show because it'll make sense to our listeners? Will you say, hey? It's Top Dog, and I've been slam dunking hoes since 61. This is Top Dog. I've been slam dunking hoes since 61. <laughs> okay, just one more time. Just try to say, um, hi, this is Top Dog, and I've been slam dunking hoes since 1961. This is Top Dog, and I've been slam dunking hoes since 1961. <laughs> He sounds like Casey Kasem. He's so, I that. told you. Didn't and t- one last thing. So Do you want to kill mom? Oh, yeah. We had this. No, of course not. No, of course not. She did an interview that she thinks she thinks you want to kill her. Well, she watches all those crime shows on TV. Mm-hmm. She says you watch all those shows. So she watches them all with me. <laughs> but she Absolutely. says that you watch them because you want to kill her. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, okay, so you don't, you don't want to kill her. Who's making that note? No. 
Right. No, of course not. Okay. Could you get away with it if you did want to kill her, do you think? Well, I'm not a very good liar, so I'd probably get caught. There you go. But you could get away with the killing probably for a while. Yeah, but I get caught. So. Yeah. Okay. Aww. All right, I'm just putting it out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, he sounds I love bummed. you, Dad. I love <laughs> that he can't kill her. He sounds upset that he can't. I'll call kill you. Uh, call you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs> oh, top dog. That yeah, was top dog. There you go. He's not gonna kill my mom. Thank God. He did sound disappointed that he couldn't get away with it, which is cute. Oh man. But yeah, what is this with old people? Like, why is it that the it's old people get? It's funny that you mentioned that because, like, okay, I've been trying to get Top Dog on the phone. Yeah. You know, to, I, there's a couple things I really want to ask him about. Right. So I called the house. I didn't get him, but I got my mom. And just you saying that, just listen to the yeah. beginning of this, okay? This is me calling and the, my mom, who's the same age as your dad. 65, right? right. No, she, yeah. he just turned 66. Right. Yeah. I think she's that, too. This is the beginning of a conversation where it's just like, what? what? the fuck is wrong with them? So, yeah. I can't find this place. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Hello? <laughs> hey, Mom. Hi, Tom Cito. What did you say? This what? call is being recorded by the Cortes of Lacaz? This is so. Yeah. <laughs> the Cortes of Lacaz. That's the country I live in now. But it talks like this call is being recorded by the Cortes of Lacaz. Is, is that an English lady talking for you or what? Yeah, it's a British lady. I hire her. She's my assistant. So she has a sweet, sexy voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm, I'm all about that. That's all I'm about, you know? Christina is going to get all jealous. <laughs> uh, you bet she will. Teach her a lesson. How was you, Tommy? Haven't talked to you in okay, a century. So there's one part, and then he was like a just like you. TV's on. Of course. What's that? Of course. What's going on? Not much. The sun is shining. Not much. Oh, actually, why can't I stop the thing? Yeah, why can't I stop the TV? I don't know. Hold on. I feel like I'm talking to dad right now. What do you mean you can't stop? Is the remote control? I was trying to find shows to tape for tonight. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It, it, something happens where they just, you know what it is? I think it's it's when you're winding down. You're, you're, you're done, you've, done what, you've dealt with the bullshit forever. And so then things become overwhelming and pro- that's why they just like to, like your dad just likes to stay home because nothing's going to get. As do I. Right. But I'm saying. He doesn't want to do anything because he's done everything. But you know? he. But here's the thing. My theory is is that is if if you've done these things your whole life, shouldn't you be like awesome at them? Like like if you right. found movie theaters your whole life, wouldn't you be awesome at after doing it for sixty fucking six years? Like why now? Why does it become a challenge? It's a great question. I can't. What is this fucking theater? What do you mean? You have a GPS. You have a computer in your hand I know. that tells you where. Where do I park? What do you mean? There's nothing but parking in Burbank. Burbank is a parking lot. That's all it is. With movie theaters and restaurants. Yeah. That's all it fucking is. Yeah. 20 minutes late because he can't find anything. Yeah. And all you do when you're out and you do see older people is what? You just hear him going like, I got to get out of here. Like, <laughs> where's where's that thing? I, I can't. I'm, I'm hot. And they're then, just uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable all the time. We were on the train. Mary? Yeah. They just they're It's not a bathroom, that's a closet. <laughs> just you're like, all right. <laughs> Why can't I turn this phone on? Holy shit. Why can't I get a man? Like, what do you just give it a minute? Just fucking Remember that guy on the train who was like well, He was so where, where is this going? Which way is the ocean? Like <laughs> Oh my god. He's like, and I always get turned around. We're like, really? <laughs> you don't know which side the ocean's on? <laughs> like What's wrong with you? It's the side that all these buildings aren't on. <laughs> I remember I watched this. Couple. I'm gonna send some texts. I gotta text some people back. He announced that to his wife. Yeah. I gotta send some texts back. <laughs> the poor woman has to listen. To and then for breakfast, I had uh, fish mm. and cheese and I had fish and on my eggs. <laughs> what are you saying? He had to get. Si- he took him so long to get situated, and then the conductor came by and was like, "There's juice and coffee." And uh, pastries, help yourself. And he was like, I got to get back there. And like, there's eight people on this train. I'm like, you're fine. 
And so they're so agitated the older they get. It's just amazing. I was really proud of my dad for being so calm at that movie. I really thought he would be getting up to pee every five seconds. Sure. And these fucking assholes everywhere, these fucking kids. And But he was really calm. I guess because he was just eating his popcorn. He was yeah. chill the fuck out. Yeah. You just got to occupy them the way you do toddlers. Like, exactly. Yeah, here's some crayons. They need attention. Yeah, here, just take that and just yeah. fucking sit there and shut up. They need attention. What did you talk to your mom about? Um, <clears throat> well, she just said, uh, I'm looking for TV shows to record for tonight. This was interesting. Listen to what we talk about for television shows here for a minute. It's pretty funny. <laughs> so I don't even know what I'm watching, but you know, I have to watch all the killings and I tape them so he can watch them and get ideas how to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the cookie rolls. That's how the cookie rolls. <laughs> it's uh, not an expression, by the way. No. It's how the cookie crumbles. Is right. The but that's how foreigners, up. yeah. Yeah, they just add their thing to it. Now we add it to the repertory of 48 hours and Dateline and 2020 <laughs> killings. Now we got, I almost got away with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he likes that, too. He loves that one. And he, he really does like a lot of killing shows. It's the only thing we watch. And then he does like to rewind and watch in detail what they did again. Exactly. <laughs> and I said, what are you doing? And, and he has to be in charge of the remote control, you know, that thing. And then all of a sudden he rewinds yeah. and I said, what are you doing? And I just want to watch this. <laughs> and, of course, I have to get up and get a Xanax, no? To get a Xanax. Yeah. <laughs> you need a Xanax? <laughs> Poor Tony. He's watching a crime in details and rewind it to watch it again. <laughs> I don't know if there is any hope so, for me. Do you start to get nervous? Like, he's going to kill me? I'm, I'm nervous if I'm in the shower and he walks in the bathroom now. I said, please, wait till I get out, please. <laughs> do you think he's going to kill you in the shower? I'm afraid, so, yeah. And my anxiety... Then if you were going to... Do you think this is funny? Ask your father. My anxiety level has grown to extreme thanks to these <laughs> stupid shows. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, ask him. Ask him. Um, it's just we watch too much you? of the same thing, Tommy. All I'm watching is killing and killing and killing and killing and killing. <laughs> I said, can we watch one comedy? <laughs> There's no good comedy on TV. I said, but you haven't watched them. How do you know? We don't even start watching them. He knows. You can mention any comedy for the last 10 years. They don't even know the titles. He doesn't know any of them. Yeah, I know. And he really doesn't. The last thing he watched was Three's Company. <laughs> he like <laughs> did he like that? He did like that show. He loved that show. And then another show that we watched long ago. I, you know I what? I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him the box set of Three's Company, the DVDs. Oh, so can watch oh he will love. I tell you what. Isn't it sad when you do you ever go to somewhere and they they're still watching shows like that? You're like, oh, this is what you watch. Like with all the shows you could watch. You'd rather sit around and watch Three's Company. Yeah. Like um, one of our friends, um, his roommate used to watch, his, he, he's our age, <laughs> every night would watch Hogan's Heroes, right? And I don't, I'm not slamming that show. I never seen it. But that he show. was like 34. <laughs> yeah. And he was watching Hogan's Heroes every night. And I was like, but. That's so weird. This, of all the programming you have access to. Yeah. Do you want to watch Hogan's Heroes? All right, man. But you know like, what? It, it's a comfort thing. And especially with those old timey yeah. sitcoms. Like, it's just comfort food. Because I, I get hooked on really dumb shows, too. Like, I really can't throw stones. Because mm -hmm. I get hooked on all kinds of gay shit that I will just watch on a list. Yeah. I get obsessed about things like that. So, first of all. Yeah. Major, major breakthroughs this week with you and your dad, right? Dude. Well, I mean, people don't understand. I. Uh, Top Dog and I went on a trip. We took a trip together. I spent the last yeah. five days with Top Dog in Maine. Uh, and the reason we picked Maine is because he was like, I've never been to Maine before. Well, yeah, what's so people, arbitrary... people were asking me, like, why are you in Maine? And I was like, because that's where he wanted to go. Like, you don't argue with the guy. What did he you know? say? He was like, buddy, I, I got to go. I've never been to Maine before, buddy. You want to go? <laughs> like that. So <laughs> Just like that. I said, uh, sure. It's a summer, too. So I was like, yeah, it'd be great. Nice, cool weather. So he likes he likes what the the uh, the he town. Just wanted, walks he just around. wanted to try somewhere he's never been, and um, yeah, and then lobster like eat some lobster pal. He loves lobster, lobster buddy. And I <laughs> said, yeah. So yeah, man, let's do it. He loves that seafood. We went up there, and 
something, buddy. We just hung out. I had so much fun with him. And then I tweeted the other night that while we were there, one night when we were hanging out, Top Dog, the king of the dumps, Mr. <gasps> Wipe Down, shit his pants. No! <laughs> he shit his pants. No! It was How is that? Uh Amazing. That is so rare. That's like getting to see Haley's comet. It, you're there. Exactly. And it that happens. is exactly right. Yeah. You're so blessed. It was. It was like, hey, usually, you know, if you stand here, or something, you might. Oh wow, it's an eclipse tonight. <laughs> right. That's really what it you was. You were staring into the eye of the storm. It was amazing. It was. Well, absolutely... walk us through this. I mean, you well, can't just taunt me with that. I mean, that. we can't just talk about it without you know <laughs> making sense of it all. It's top dog. <laughs> Hey buddy, it's Top Dog. <laughs> hey buddy, it's Top Dog. <laughs> you need to wipe hey down. Buddy, it's Top Dog. Yeah, right. it's Top Dog. Oh man, I uh, yeah, I had the best time. He, by the way, he doesn't understand still what a podcast is. Of course, yeah. And um, he, oh, <laughs> Jesus, not. I show him. I play. I play clips for him because I, I wanted to show him. I'm like. You yeah. know you're part of the show, and he was like, "What show?" And I'm like, <laughs> "That kind of stuff." And then uh, he, he doesn't he doesn't know that he has thousands of fans. Mm. I showed him love him. I showed him tweets, and I showed him um, the iTunes page. Right. Um, if you really want to make Top Dog's day, write <laughs> a um, a review that mentions him on iTunes. Go to uh, our podcast, or you know, your mom's house on iTunes. On yeah. iTunes, and you can you know you can write whatever five stars and whatever you want and if you mention him like he just he looks at it and he's like yeah he's he just so... nods and he's like that's yeah but I, I still don't think that he people has... like me buddy yeah and yeah. he but he still has no awareness of just how special and how many lives he's touched he absolutely and has how many people's uh wiping techniques he's influenced very much so um he was very very upset that people weren't um <laughs> When he asked for work, we get big lobsters. Somebody told him, uh, you know, they're just pound and a half around here. And he was like, it's impossible. Buddy. <laughs> really? Yeah, he was really upset about How, that. What size was he expecting? Like He what's... wanted two and three pounders, you know, big ones. Oh, okay. And um, we ended up finding them. He was like, right. see, I knew they were here, buddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so one night, Top Dog, by the way, people, the I sat next oh. to this lady. Uh, on another thing, I'd tell you about the flight on the way home. Yeah. But um, she was like, I talked to this lady, and she was like, "What, you know, where, where were you?" Because I connected in Detroit, and I was like, "I was in Maine," and she was like, "Oh, I've been to Maine. Like, where were you?" And I told her I was in Portland, Maine, and she goes, uh, uh, "Like, what'd you do?" And I said, "I hung out with my dad." And she's like, "Oh, what kind of stuff did you guys go to LL Bean?" <laughs> LL Bean. You, I guess there's a big LL Bean thing there. Who gives Believe. a leave. Whoa. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, Ella, why would you go to? It's so funny that people consider that something to do on your vacation. Like, I know. Did you and go to Starbucks? She she also <laughs> yeah. was like, Cares. she's like, so what did you guys do? And I I had to think because I had just done the five days together with him, and I was like, you know, just like drive around, get something to eat, and then go back to the hotel. And she was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, that's what he likes to do. And she was like, for yeah. real? Like she couldn't believe it. But to me, it's normal. Well, because that's what top, top Dog... That's what he likes to do. Well, when we went on a cruise with your family uh, yeah. two years ago, yeah. his thing, he's like, I asked him, like, what did you do, Top Dog? He's like, well, you, you know me, I, I like to eat, and then I come back and I like to watch my Turner Classic movies. Yeah. And he likes his movies. He likes he to likes chill out. He likes to have... Because he works hard for yeah. the money. He works hard. But yeah. some people... You know what I realize the older I get is it's it's shitty to dictate to somebody else how to enjoy themselves for sure man. you know like i've i've discovered because i am guilty of that like too like you know when someone's like uh they describe something that they want to do that i have no interest in doing yeah but you know what just you should do what you do just do you bro do you do you my man to quote the situation well it's, it's sure. just that, like you know like some people like uh we have friends and family members that like to go camping i don't want to go I fucking would camping. kill myself I you would know and they tell me myself. in detail how enjoyable uh, it is i don't uh, want to go never but they think the fact that we like to go and sit on a beach for a week, yeah, and that's it, and just lay on the beach, just and get drink in the water, top shelf margs, and eat burritos, yeah, like dad boner, and then just go to the room, yeah. But that's my version of having a good time. Can I tell you? I feel bad because I totally dream crushed you when we were in Mexico. I totally ruined your fun. Why? Because you 
I when I go on vacation, I like to thoroughly unplug. Like I will not check my email. I don't yeah. want to fucking look at the phone. I don't want to think about my iPhone. I don't want to yeah. think about business. And I I got mad at you, remember? Cuz yeah. you were checking your email and like doing do business and I was like, "Why are you ruining my fucking vacation?" Yeah, yeah. But now I understand what you just said that look, if that makes you feel good, yeah. I can't fucking tell you how who am I to tell you? Exactly. You can't check your your my phone. No, I think I think that's true. I'm a grown woman now. I've grown yeah. since then emotionally. But grown. I also, you know, I decompress by just surfing the web like that's yes. my version of just chilling out like in the morning i know that's what you do you mm-hmm. wake up you get on the internet yeah you read your drudge report or whatever mm-hmm. sports cnn espn pornography uh, and then dead spin take a shit i go through my uh, uh huffington i i, I just you hit, like to see the news i read up on the news i like to get different sources i like i like <laughs> seeing what conservatives are saying i like seeing what the liberals Left wing liberals. Cross as, as my dad would um, say. P.S. Your yeah. father. Mm-hmm. So when I called over there just to say hi to you, yeah, and you handed the phone. Oh to yeah, dog, yeah, yeah. And you went to take a shit or something. Yeah. You know he says to me. What? Oh, you, you, you like Tommy's car? And I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And he goes, up, yeah, you're finally getting sick and tired of driving your hippie shit car, huh? You're you're liberal. <laughs> you're a liberal because I drive a hybrid. Yeah. For those who don't know, and he he thinks that that's the funniest. He does. Stupidest California thing, and he's like, you finally getting over the dumb fucking hybrid. He doesn't yeah. say fucking, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting over your dumb hybrid thing, huh? He does. Your, your hippie car <laughs> made fun of you so much. So. For that. He makes fun of everybody. He yeah. makes fun of California 24-7. The People's Republic of yeah, California. People's Republic, guys. <laughs> Left wing tree yeah. huggers. He stuff thinks, like that. He thinks we're all on ass. Yeah. I mean, that <laughs> thing with the... <laughs> That's totally uh, right out there. Hybrid, and you don't, get, you don't get any cool air coming in the car. He lost his shit. Fucking he was here mind. in summertime driving... Yeah, last summer. Right, you were driving, and he was in the passenger seat. Right, and so when you go and you're driving a hybrid, <laughs> and uh, if it's like a, a genuine hybrid, you like you you stop, let's say at a red light, your engine stops running, and uh, the electric cu- cuts on right. it to keep the car basically alive. Right, right, right. So when your engine cuts out, that cuts off the AC being actual <laughs> like genuine cool right. air because the it engine sucks so the bad. engine's not fueling I it, know. so you get just like lukewarm air. It's so and in LA summer when it's like it's hot, hot as fuck, it's like dirty. July. Yeah. It's the worst. And he was like, "What's going on with the air?" And I was like, "Well, we're in a hybrid." And he was like, "Holy shit!" Like he fucking <laughs> lost his mind. No, you had, so yeah. No, it was his idea. I gotta say, he was like, "Put it in neutral." Yeah. And hit the gas to keep the engine running. And that'll keep cool air coming out. And it worked. And he was it like, totally see? Went. And I was like, yeah, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. <laughs> he's like, I don't give a shit about that. He doesn't. But I will tell you that the reason I got the hybrid is because of my very favorite thing in the world, which is sticking it to the man. Yeah. And you and like I don't, conserving fuel. And I don't like to fucking pay $5 for gas. And I tell you, if you can tolerate that AC problem, yeah. it's a good deal, man. I don't go to the gas station that often. I go every... You're scratching your... You can hear that. Yeah, I know. You can hear it. Ugh. All right. Somebody's going to hear that in their little earbuds. They love me. Ugh. Not your dirty. <laughs> they love me. Did you pop me. that pimple that I told you about Not there? Yet. Ugh. Um, God, you're such a bear. Wait, so, so let's keep going. No, I'm just saying. So that's a good. Uh, that's the plus side. You don't have to go to the gas station. You don't have to pay a lot more. It's a light car, though. That's the only thing. Is that if you get hit, if I get hit in that fucking thing, yeah. I'm going to die. It, there's no sturdiness at all. Yeah, your car's made of like. It's like a tin fucking can. paper, yeah. So tell me um, about your fucking. So you're not telling I'm me. I'm telling so you, so, man. You gotta tell so, us. So all right, well, just I'll get to this because we. I mean, we had a lot of a lot of great conversations. There's so much top dog stuff that we're gonna have to do. Some we're gonna do. A, we're gonna do a big top dog episode okay. next week. Um, but right now, I because I tweeted that it was real and it was. It was right. I I was in the. We finished dinner and. We walked back, and then we were going to go. Was it lobster? Did he eat lobster? Yes. Was it seafood? Okay. And we came back, and we were going to go uh, to a movie, I think. Yeah. So we were going to come, just come back for a few minutes and then go to a movie. Um, so it was like 8.30, 9 or something like that. And as we walked back in the hotel, there's we're on like the second floor, and we're on like the ground level. Yeah. We're about to walk up these stairs, and I go, hey, why don't we take the elevator? Because I don't want to shit my pants. And he goes, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> I've been there before, buddy. Oh, so you were on panic's I said, yeah, edge. Yeah. Were... I mean, I wasn't panic, but I was like, I didn't okay. really feel like wa- like treading upstairs. You know what I mean? Like sure. I was like, eh, let's just take the elevator. Sure. So he was like, yeah. 
So we go back, and he's like, gotta go, pal. You gotta go. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> so we get back, and I go, and I just go to the bathroom. Yeah. And then when I'm done, you know, wash my hands, I start flossing. Okay. Because I had dinner. Good. And brushing my teeth. Good. And then I hear uh, my dad goes, uh, you, done, you done in there, buddy? And I go, <laughs> yeah. He goes, need to get in there. And I think, oh, you got to go to the bathroom, right? Sure. So I go, yeah, no problem, man. Hold on. So I finish up, flush, wipe my face down, right? Mm-hmm. Towel. Walk out into the into the room from the bathroom, and Top Dog's naked in the in the. <laughs> Shut up. He's standing there, and I go, "What's going on?" And he goes, what? "I went to the bathroom in my pants," <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And then he runs naked. Naked. He runs into the bathroom <laughs> and he takes a shower and then he gets out and as he gets out i hit record on my <laughs> wait wait where's the shit where's here the shit? just just give give this a shot oh my god just um He's believe i do not believe that <laughs> that just really happened and you know the the little they have those little things on the seat that go electronically yeah well when i sat down on it i had spots on it from the shit they got on my leg okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute oh my god tell me what happened because i was just i walked okay i'm in the bathroom yeah. and you <laughs> knock and said i need to go in there yeah. and i come out of here and you're standing naked in the hotel room yeah what happened all right as i'm trying to find the bathroom this is bathroom on the first floor i didn't see one well, I had, you know how you walk down the stairs? When you, it's hard to hold your cheeks together when you're walking downstairs. Right. Okay, so I'm walking, then I find the bathroom. It's over, you know, it's but one of these. They're all set up like handicapped bathrooms. And all of a sudden, I'm trying to race over there. You really got to go. Got to go, and some of it comes out, <laughs> hits my boxer shorts. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I get undressed, I mean, I put my... Pants down there, right in the in the. Some of it was a couple lumps. Really, and <laughs> they hit the deck, and then some of it got on my leg, oh, no. which got on the seat. Yeah. So you know, I had to take my underwear off, take my stuff off. <laughs> Plus, I was running in there, and the, the door wasn't shut completely, so I had to get up and shut the door. Holy shit! So I wouldn't put on a a show. A show. So was it a single stall? Single stall. <laughs> so. When did you sh- you see yourself right as you were opening the door or what? Right as I opened the door to the bathroom. Right. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> was it? Yeah. Uh, are those pants have shit on them? Probably. Pants don't because it just got the underwear. Are you sure? It wasn't diarrhea. It was just kind of lumpy. <laughs> kind of lumpy. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You should probably check them out. Kind of lumpy. Right now, he's holding up the pants. I go check them out. Are they khakis? You know, he yeah. loves his khakis. Yeah, okay. they were khakis. And, and, and he's oh, about no. to put them back on. And I go, why don't you oh, just put on shit. a different pair of pants? Yeah. He's like, no, they're fine. They Just the boxers got it. And and I that's was like, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but that's physically, the physics of what he's saying happening, it's impossible. <laughs> and then he's like, he gives them to me just like to check oh, them God. out, the pant legs. You oh, know? God. And I'm like, I don't want to I mean, do You might want to just throw another pair of pants. Oh, my God. Don't, don't don't sit. No, I don't want to smell it. <laughs> he handed me the pant like you smell it. Uh, it doesn't look. Uh, what's that? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, what's that right there? What? Oh my god. No. <laughs> what about the pant legs? Because you said some fell out. Yeah, but they fell out after I got my my trousers down. Trousers. <laughs> okay. All right. He didn't wear them. That's the in the end. Well, good. I'd burn yeah. those pants. What did me in was not finding the first bathroom, okay? <laughs> Man. Do you, do you remember what happened when we walked up to the elevator? Yeah. I said, let's take the elevator. Yeah. And I said, I don't want to shit my pants. Yeah. And you said, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Boy, do I know. Yeah. The irony. Yeah. When I got up there, all of a sudden I had to go, and I was struggling, and, you know, <laughs> went in there, and no. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> How much came out? Just a couple lumps. Really? <laughs> Loose? No, just, well, no, it wasn't, wasn't, not like, not like wasn't Sloppy Joe. It was like... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sloppy Joe. What was the last time you shit yourself? Or shit your pants? It happened once at the office. <laughs> last year? Yeah. So you, this is once a year is basically your rate right now? Once a year. Yeah. About once a year. I say, when I have to go, yeah. I have to go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. When did it hit you you had to go? Uh, when we went up to the room. You knew right then? God. Man. You had to go right away, or no? you were like, oh, I can hold it for a minute? I can minute. hold it, but i got to find it. Yeah. But I went to too many wrong places. So where, you, you I went to the first floor, didn't see it on the first floor, <laughs> so I finally went down there to the basement by the, because I knew there would be a, re a restaurant by the restaurant. Yeah. And it may have been one of the first floors, so but I didn't see it. right as you're opening the door, yep. you're shitting yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> This made the. This is the whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing, dude. Oh, That's amazing. Uh, and then, how was the cleanup? Pretty bad. Well, the cleanup. You had to take your. Took the underwear. I took your underwear in the in the in the where you put the dirty t I mean the trash down there. Yeah. <laughs> but then I had to, you know, I had to take. I had to get water, but I <laughs> had to wet the water and do the back. Yeah. A couple times. Was it all it, over your cheeks and stuff? It was all over the cheeks. That's why I was taking a shower. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was all over the cheeks. Jesus. <laughs> God, was a mess. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is he laying down now? Yeah. I can hear it, yeah. How many times? He's comfortable like, now. How often it. does that I mean, last year and this year, how many times do you think that's happened total? Like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe in my life? Yeah. Hmm. Five or six. Five or six? <laughs> oh, man. That's the funniest fucking thing. I can't life. believe like, that. The Olympics every so many years. <laughs> every so many years. <laughs> That's so great. <sighs> oh, my. All right. I can't believe you got to witness that. It was amazing. I never, I never thought that I would be around for something like that. Right. You know, usually it's like a phone call. Here's what happened. That yeah. kind of thing. But you were really blessed. You got to see him in it's his incredible. moment of crisis. Incredible. You got to see it. Oh, and the ever... other the other stuff is also so fucking crazy that I have wow. coming up with him. I can't um, wait to you know that just so you guys know, Tom mm -hmm. doesn't play this audio for me in advance. Yeah. So it's a surprise for me yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh we like to surprise each other. So this is amazing. I I'm reeling from this. Yeah, it's pretty great, right? I mean, in the years couple I've known lumps. him, a couple of loves. Do you remember oh this is what I wanted to stop and tell you. Uh do you remember last week I just was <laughs> I had a laughing attack? <laughs> Oh, thinking Sloppy about, Joe? Thinking about him talking about Sloppy Joe. Yeah. Because he, he'll he sometimes call me and be like, uh, <laughs> took a good shit today. Kind of a Sloppy Joe. <laughs> sloppy Joe. And he, he always uses that term. Well, because it's perfect. It is a perfect term. Because it's so gross. Or it's like chili. I remember, sloppy Joe is like chili kind of. Yeah, right? I remember. I mean, for me, Sloppy Joe, I used to remember elementary school. <sighs> and they'd like scoop, like the scoop, <laughs> yeah, the big yeah. silver spoon. And then... <sighs> And they just throw it down. Yeah, it's kind hurt. of a sloppy Joe. <laughs> he never says sloppy Joe. He always says kind of a sloppy Joe. Kind of a sloppy Joe. It was, a, it was kind of. I a gotta sloppy take Joe. a pee real bad. Okay. Do you mind? No. no. All right. Sorry, guys. I gotta take a whiz. I'll be right back. Okay. You talk to them. Yeah, I'm talking. All right. Um, talking about how much you fart. No, it was it was a great trip with him. We also um, I I noticed. Because uh, we shared a room, I was nervous to because uh, I snore. Even though I use this thing to, so that it actually has basically cut out my snoring. But I was sick last week, if you remember. So when I'm sick, sometimes it's still bad. So I was really nervous and I was scared that he would be very upset because he'll yell at me. He's yelled at me for snoring before, like very angrily in the middle of the night, which is fucking terrifying. And uh, so I was nervous about that. And so the first thing we did when he picked me up, when I flew in, we went to CVS. And I was like, you got to get earplugs, man. You got to get earplugs because I'm going to snore and it's going gonna, it's gonna to upset you. And I, was, and I had anxiety about it. And he was like, okay. And like, he was cool. And he was like, yeah, we'll do that. We buy earplugs. Uh, he never uses them. He says that, I, you know, I don't, no disturbance from me. He fucking snored the whole weekend. <laughs> And the best was that when I would tell him, like, you're snoring, he, would, he was like, really? 
He always did like, yeah, he was like, I didn't know that. Buddy. How could your mother not tell him? That's this? what he said. He goes, he's like, your mother's never said anything. And I was like, are you serious right now? He also sleeps with one leg in the air oh, I and know, his move. foot resting on the knee. That kind of like he's sitting cross leg, like a man would sit cross leg sitting up. Yeah. He sleeps like that on top of the bed. Well, you know, so that's, would, you know that you do that too. Yeah. You've told me that. Well, your sleeping habits are identical. It's really so it, bizarre. Oh, last night it, it made me so angry. Yeah. Last night. Oh, last night. My God. This fucking broad. In I didn't the even middle hear this. of the night. I heard like the tail end of this, I think. No, I'm talking about you. Me? Oh, I thought you were talking about our neighbor. That's coming. But <laughs> you oh, in the yeah. fucking middle of the night. Yeah, I hated you. I, I, I just like, ugh, I, I hang, I'm, I turn over, I'm like, what? And you're like, you fucking make so much noise. <laughs> God, I'm out of here. You grabbed the pillow and you yeah. stormed out of the room. I did. But I wasn't snoring. No, you're not snoring because you have that mouth guard in. Mm-hmm. But what you do now when you're super tired is like you sing and dance. Mm-hmm. Like you'll hum. Like you'll breathe in and go. Hmm. And I hear that. And then you do your dance where you put your leg up. Yeah. So that your ankle's on your knee. Yeah. And then what happens is it's an awkward position so that it, your fucking leg falls on me all night. And then I try to move you over, and it doesn't help. And it made me so mad. I wanted to kill you last night. Seriously. Yeah. And then I got to go sleep on the couch. You were very, Oh, very I was ready agitated. to murder you, yeah. Yeah. Well, don't you think you deserve it? No, because I'm not... I'm in the middle of my sleep. I don't even want to talk about it. It's so upsetting right now. Ugh, that sound makes me see red. Yeah? Was that... Is that Top Dog? No. <gasps> But Todd Dog's a worse snorer than you, you think? No, he's not worse. It's just that was it was not it was more it was me concerned about what you know that I'm going to upset him. Yeah, and it turned out to be the opposite. Oh, that sounds exactly like what you do. Oh, it's so awful. Yeah. I well, mean, that's good. I'm glad you got a little bit of your own flavors. Yeah, he was. Um, he was. He was like just regular snoring, but every time I was like, "Hey, man, like you're fucking snoring." Yeah. He was like, uh. And then in the morning, I was like, hey, so what's up with the snoring? He was like, yeah, I didn't know I did that, buddy. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. Your mom's way too nice on it. Yeah. Him. I'm like, mean to you. So anyways. <laughs> you got to witness him shitting his pants. It's amazing. It's amazing. Nobody gets to see that. And there's some more Top Dog Gold for you here right now. The next day, I recorded um, some more conversation with him. So let's just get into it. Would you say? Yeah, okay. Yeah? So we'll get right into it right now. Here is some more uh, TD. Um, so, the other day, you texted me, and we didn't get to talk, and you texted me that you had a long shit, which is different than a big shit, because long shits curl around the toilet. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's totally different. Did that happen to you the other day? It did. It did. <laughs> you know, you started shitting, and it just felt like it was going to go on forever. Really? There was no plop. Yeah. You know, it just kind of... And then, of course, when I was done, I checked it out, and it just kind of coiled up there like a, a snake. A snake, basically, yeah. Do you try to when those are, when those come really long? Do you try to hold on to not break? You know, do you try to keep yourself from breaking it to see how long it? Could, you know what I'm talking about? I right? do that all yeah. the time. Like, oh, if I I can clench it and yeah. then snap it off, yeah. But, or maybe I could just. I go for the. I can do. I swear to God, Tommy. Yeah. I did a foot long and then another half foot, like a six really? incher. Yeah. When I was in Florida. I, oh wow. It was amazing. Yeah. But yeah. I know what he's talking about. You know yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't hear it plop. It almost concerns you. And then when you look in the bowl, you're like, "Oh, this is amazing." Oh yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. What's the longest you've ever turded? Um, I mean, I've had a, you know, probably a fifteen incher before. Fifteen. In a single, yeah, single mm-hmm. bound. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I'm, okay. not, I'm not an amateur. Okay. Mm-hmm. One piece. No, I, I just I don't have those very often. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would say it's the first one of the few ones I've had this year, and it just <laughs> you know I just kept going. I figured I'd be done any second, but it just kept coming. I mean, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, a while ago, we were in the car, and it was you, me, and mom, and you said we were in the car, and you go, I have. Uh, you're talking about how you know you smell you smell your farts. You put your hand down there and then you smell them. No, I don't do that. Okay, you know oh. what's funny is that you, did you hear him deny it right you then. Lied. Yeah, and he goes, "No, I don't do that." 
And I just looked at him and I was like, huh? And I think part of him was just doing an automatic denial. Hmm. Um, but then when I reminded him that we had, and it's in a previous episode. Yeah, uh, he, he you remember the them. you remember the episode? I've seen him do it, right? But the episode where I go, he goes, I have six different smells. Like he was yeah. talking about it, yeah. And that's why I was like, huh? Because he, hmm. he denied it. I was like, what? What do you mean? Oh, that I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That I do. Yeah. Sick or not? Yeah. yeah. Right. We talked about that. Right. Because I know my smell. <laughs> right. But then, as we were talking about that, you said I basically have six different types of smells. Right. So what, like, I mean, could you kind of break down what they are? Like, what are the different ones that... There's one smell, you know, it's going to be a hard one when it comes out. Really? The yeah. smell itself tells you that? Yeah, there's another one, you a know, it's going to be basically kind of a diarrhea thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? A hard one. Oh, meaning like the consistency yeah. of your shit. It's just yes. like a normal yes. deuce. Yeah. There, you know, there's others that are kind of in between. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah. if there's one that's just kind of the normal smell, which means you're fine, gastrointestinal, you're fine, you're not going to have any unusual episodes. So <laughs> that's the one I usually go for. <laughs> that's the one I go for. That I may have an intestinal event later in the evening. So you know what's coming? Oh, yeah, I have I have like a blueprint coming, yeah. Really? It's kind of my own built-in radar system, okay? And you just like to know what's coming, basically, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's always okay. good to be prepared. Yeah. yeah. That's my motto. Be prepared. Be prepared is your motto? Marine motto. Do you have... People ask me to ask you, do you recommend... Do you have a favorite type of toilet paper? Yeah, I really do. You know, uh, in fact, uh, I, when I go to the grocery store, I get basically top-of-the-line Charmin with the uh, the right. uh, alloy or whatever. Aloe vera Allo- kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah. To yeah. the lotion stuff. By the way, that's another bad thing is like yeah. there's at least 30 words I can think of that he doesn't know how to pronounce Yeah. for years. Yeah, and your dad's American born. Yes, and for like 30 years he's mispronounced them and every time I go, you mean like aloe? And he's like, yeah. Yeah, why doesn't he? My dad know. says Traders the, Joe, Traders Joe, Traders Joe. Yeah, and then he goes, "I need your advices." Like he pluralizes yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, that's a foreign thing, though. But he's a foreigner. Yeah, it's a foreign thing. Yeah, no, Top Dog always is like the ally thing, Vera. Yeah. Like, no, Hello? and he also says pedophile. That's so weird. Remember? Yeah, yeah he's like, see this guy in the news is pedophile. <laughs> I'm like, pedophile. He's like, yeah. I'm like, how can you not fucking say it right? Maybe yeah, maybe he hasn't seen the word written or something. I don't know, man. Stuff. Yeah, built in. Yeah, you like that? That's my favorite brand. You know, uh, Charmin <laughs> is a great, it's consistent toilet paper. Yeah, you like yeah. it. Is. That, you have to take that into account too, because mm-hmm. when you suddenly got to go, I mean, if you got to go, you want to go into a place that carries good. You know, generally you go to the Ritz Carlton's, Four Seasons, all the top line hotels carry good toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. right. But then when you go to some of the motels and stuff. Mm. It's really bad. Yeah, motels, planes, gas, sta- gas station. Yeah. I really try to avoid going on an airplane, okay? Oh, yeah, me uh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me too. But, uh, you know, in some of the... Um, but it's getting bit, you know, getting better. Uh, I was on a cruise ship once. It really bad. In fact, I recommended to a friend take a couple of his own rolls. Yeah, you've told me that too. Yeah, yeah. That's, bring your um, own role. Really? Yeah. That might be does a good, you know, just philosophy in life. Bring your he, own role. Does he do that? Yeah, he does. Yeah. On cruise ships. Yeah, I bring a, he'll bring a couple roles on his own. Are you fucking kidding me? No. That's bananas. They've been on so many cruises that he, yeah. he knows. So he's he like, knows. hey, make sure you pack a couple rolls. Wow. Keep my hole soft. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. So you really, you think that through, huh? Oh, you know, it's just like some people, it's like, you know, when you. When you, you're laying out your wardrobe for shoes and yeah. stuff, you also got to plan, plan, you know, yeah. what comes out. Sure. Do you bring rolls with you? I did on the last cruise I went on. Yeah. <laughs> you did? I bought a backup roll. Just one? Uh, yeah, I just bought one for emergencies, you know, and, and because, uh, you know, and, and Actite, which is really good, too. Yeah. We are on cruise ship. The tissue paper for your nose, Yeah. much softer. Oh, they don't really it. like it when you use that. Yeah, but it's ten times. <laughs> How does he know they don't like it when you use that? I don't know. Maybe because you're not supposed to flush that kind on a no, cruise ship. No, just tissue Would paper. Be... Maybe it's because he went through like a hundred tissues, and they're like, "Hey, why do we keep replenishing?" Well, your I was going to suggest because I often, in place of to toilet wipe. paper, yeah. I use Kleenex. 
Yeah, of course. It's nice and soft. Nice sure. and soft. Why can't they make toilet paper as soft as Kleenex? Why don't we ask the real questions on this yeah. show? <laughs> Buddy. Huh? Now that's a real talk question. Uh-huh. Yeah. We got a challenge, Charmin. Shit, buddy. That's a really good question. I All know. right, let's keep going. You know what they should do? Make like a premium, premium, top of the line toilet paper that feels like silk on your asshole. Even though it's like twenty dollars, like a yeah. fucking thing. See I what like happens. Yeah, I mean, when I you bet invest, people would pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing worse than rough toilet paper. Like in the dorms, like in college. Ugh. I remember they gave us one ply, mm-hmm. and I petitioned to have. Or that green shit ply. that you get sometimes. You know, like the green. Like the, the fucking it's good for the earth. Oh fuck stuff. all that! that oh stuff yeah, like the sucks. yeah, like Trader Trader's Joe kind. Yeah, yeah. recycled. Their fuck that! Yeah, it's fucking sandpaper, man. Like the military gives you bad toilet paper. It's toilet paper, really? Absolutely. That's a good tip. It's yeah. a pro that tip. Is a pro tip. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a pro tip. <laughs> do you have? Um, <laughs> are you still using the countertop wipes to wipe? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, that that really. I mean, that kills. You know, you got to. There's there's bacteria everywhere today. Sure. Yeah. You know, you read about this on computer, laptops, door handles. Yeah, everything. So I've kind of bought into this whole thing that you got to fight fire, ba- fight back. Okay. You're fighting back. I'm fighting back, and this. You don't feel like that's too strong? Kills everything. Yeah, I know. Oh no. There's, People are scared to use it. There's no such thing as too strong when it comes to bugs. Okay. Bugs. The bugs. Yeah, I mean, killing bacteria and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's your it's it's for like countertops and like grease. Ah, come on, come on! You, you, you know, you think how <laughs> people underestimate how tough their behinds are. You, really? Well, yeah, you sit on them all day long. Yeah, you know, so you're not talking <laughs> the palm of your hands here. <laughs> yeah, if it's good enough for the palm of your hands, yeah, it's got to be good enough for your behind. And some people take it up the ass regularly, you know. So that's pretty strong. Yeah, but it, 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 it works goes, great. Yeah. yeah, it's one yeah. that went right over his Yeah, head. he didn't even register that one. No, but he's he's using, like, Clorox brand. Yeah, we like went to we bleach. went to the CVS. I was oh sick. Oh, my God. I had a cold. I went to CVS, and I go, hey, and we and there, it was the Clorox. Like, it was, like, extra strength, like, kills. You know, it said, like, industrial strength. And I go, <laughs> is this the stuff you use to wipe your ass? And he looked, and he goes, yeah. That's it, buddy. You gotta be like, shit me. I was like, Dad, you can't use this. He was like, It's great. And then we it's just got, walked away. It's bleach. He on doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't want to hear what you That's have to bananas. say. Bananas. <laughs> He's gonna hurt his butthole. <laughs> that totally will hurt your butthole, right? Uh, <laughs> you can't wipe your asshole with a bleach Kleenex. It's so crazy that he does that. You know, yeah. Kills ninety nine point nine percent of all the germs. <laughs> sure it does. Uh, in yeah, in, yeah. in like uh, in chemical plants and um, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And the other thing, it's strong. You don't have to worry about punching your finger through that stuff either. You know? <laughs> oh, that's the worst. So really, your hand is safe. You know, it's yeah. like having. It's kind of like you know having real protection. Like sure. That. You got it, man. Yesterday, you really had an episode. This is the day after. Right. The the incident. The incident. Oh my god. The 2012 incident. <laughs> well, it was good yesterday. I didn't make it. I mean, I was, you know, it was just ugly. I, I had to go, and, you know, I, I misread the sign in the hotel, yeah. and I had to go down the stairs, and I, I, I was squeezing the cheeks going down the stairs. Yeah. And then I went into one of these places, you know, where, the, you know, you, you rush in, but it's one of these handicap stalls. Mm-hmm. It's an extra five feet before you get to the yeah <laughs> it and, is it's five feet too far five feet too far yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a great album title that's my favorite i gotta go i gotta play that again five Sorry. feet too far oh man but, you know you, you rush in but it's one of these handicap stalls <laughs> it's an extra five feet before you get to the yeah and it was five feet too far five feet too far yeah, <laughs> and, uh, you know, oh, it was ugly yeah yeah yeah. Throw out your underwear. I throw out my underwear. Take a shower. I take a shower, yeah. Put yeah. those pants away. Put the pants and I wear those pants the rest of the trip, that's for sure. The rest yeah. of the trip. No stains in them, but, you know, you can... Something there. Something's, something's <laughs> hidden there. <laughs> <laughs> Something is definitely in there. Hey, we were talking about this the other day. What? Describe... Oh, man. Wait, is your mom going to wash those khakis that he's shit in? Um... Does your mom do the laundry? Yeah, yeah. So she's going to smell, but he claims it doesn't smell. Well, there was, I didn't smell them. There was no, there was no stain, but he still mm. shit wearing them. 
So <laughs> can I tell you though, that's one of those phantom things, yeah. like where you fucking shit and then you don't see the evidence until late. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like when you well, I try. I had to convince him not to because he was like, "They're fine," and I was like, "I wouldn't wear those. You just shit in them." Yeah, you I wouldn't wear just those. shit in those. You may not see it at first. Right. Yeah. It's like when you shit and then you you have like the never ending wipe and then mm-hmm. later you wipe like two hours later it's like a full wipe again yeah. you're like oh my god what was in my cheese yeah like yeah. What the f- that was sitting on that oh this is oh this is the part we got it like there's more to come um there's, I'm gonna I asked him about uh, I just I don't want to tell you I asked him about dating no yes and like picking up on chicks and he gives some really good advice but here's the big announcement we've been holding on to are we doing this now let's do it right now why not man <sighs> we're just giving top all right man stuff right now so this is our our break to tell you we talked about it for a while people a lot of it it was you know listeners were suggesting this and asking about it and we finally <laughs> did it we have <laughs> it's so good it's so good we have a top dog t-shirt yeah that is, it's the best one we've ever come up with. Ever. It's, uh, if you go to your mom's house podcast.com <laughs> and you go to the store, <sighs> it's the first one you'll see now. It's, uh, it's done in the, like, um, uh, but like the Top Gun logo. Right. Like Top Gun the movie. Right. But it's Top Dog. <laughs> and above it, it says your mom's house podcast.com. And underneath it, it says wipe down, but it's, it's done so well yeah uh we had uh uh the same um designer ash uh otaki in florida did the design she did an amazing job and we've just put it up some people found it before we announced and ordered it already it's it's gonna be bananas yeah it's gonna be crazy wait um but here's the thing that's really cool it's the kind of design where um because this was really important i asked for this specifically where you don't feel the the design. You know oh, what I'm it's not about? puffy. Like this shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the ink is on top right. of the this shirt. Right. This is. Uh, it's called. Um, I forget what, what they what they call it, but it's it's where the logo and the shirt are one. Like the ink right. is bled into the shirt. Mm-hmm. So it's high quality. It's it looks awesome, and you can you can order it now. It'll ship in two weeks, and. Um, it, I'm just. We're just. Super I can't excited fucking about it. So wait, man. I can't wait to get mine. We actually today we're repping shirts. You have Death Squad shirt yeah, on. Yeah, Death Squad. Of I'm course. wearing um, a Kingfish shirt, and um, yeah. Anyways, that was. Uh, this is it. This is the top dog shirt. This is it. This this is the official shirt of the podcast. <laughs> it's so and rad. Top, it's so rad. I can't yeah. wait to get it just to ship him one. Oh, he's gonna die. He's going to die. He has no idea how no. loved he is. He has no idea. I show. Yeah. I showed him. I showed him. Uh, I asked you guys to tweet uh, Father's Day things to him, and I, I text. I would do the screen grab and send it to him, and he was like, "That's neat, buddy. People <laughs> like me." I'm like, yeah, sure do. This is phenomenal. Yeah. So, so pre-order, get your shirt. Pre-order it now. Your mama's house podcast. I can't fucking wait. Go to man. the store and check it out. It's rad. It's fucking dope as shirt, and I'm so excited about it. Um, <laughs> so now some more top dog. Let's see where we are with this. We've been Thank working on months for this shirt. Oh, I saw a, a what was left of a Viet Cong guy that got. Is this about dating? Close babe? To the bomb that, that dropped. <laughs> we talked about some Oof. Vietnam. I want to talk to the dating stuff. It really yeah. does look like. You know, really? Oh yeah, it's it's almost unrecognizable. So that's an instant kill. It's. Well, it's, he never knew what hit him. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. What about um, stuff, stuff that looked more painful? You you see stuff like that. Well, you know, but the, the, the things that hurt very often aren't the worst wounds. Oh, right. They don't yeah. kill. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. Interesting. You know, so when you get, uh, when you step on a mine, you don't feel anything. It's all so fast. Oh, yeah. I've heard guys say that, yeah. actually. The, the, the only thing that really hurts or hurts the most are belly wounds. Those are bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. bleeding out and stuff, yeah. Not nah, bleeding out belly wounds, but you have flak jackets. So that protects you from grenades, but if you get a AK-47 round in the belly, right? But I'm saying ble- bleeding out from your gut. Yeah, that oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Um, switching topics here. One of the uh, a lot of the guys ask, you know, are single. When you were single, and see a lady you want to approach, mm-hmm. so good. What kind of line do you use on her? Say one of these guys sees a attractive woman. What do you say to her? He's about to. Sp- he's about to. to g- 
school everybody. I here. can't even imagine. Well, I uh, I would be you know I would walk over to her, mm -hmm. and usually what I say, can I get you a drink? Can I get you a drink? Sure, can I get you a drink? What if she already has a drink? Do you still say that? Uh, I would kind of wait till the other drink was just about done. She's kind of waited out. Got to do a little recon, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let me take your radar, do yeah. go around the room, mm -hmm. kind of check out the body language, see if there's another guy involved, oh. see how she's drinking the drink. It's all about timing. What if you're in a non-drinking scenario? Like let's say you're at the post office. Do you still say, can I get you a drink? Well, let's see. What did I do at a... He doesn't even address that. He's like, a long time ago. Uh, waitresses. I used to work on waitresses. When they were serving you? Yeah. <laughs> Really? Mm -hmm. What would you say? Well, you try to be charming. I said, you know, I really like the way you filled up my my, <laughs> my glass. My glass. Said, the way you filled up my glass. Filled up my glass, yeah. Okay, so could you give me another glass and fill it up for me too? <laughs> no. That would really catch him off guard. <laughs> what the? Fuck? It gets so much better. You have no idea. He's about to show. He's about to tell you what got him the most chicks. Um... <laughs> I really like how you felt that glass. <laughs> I'm yeah, so you felt up another. If we have another glass, <laughs> that's his big line. No, it gets even. He's better. not even. You're the man. Better. That's even worse than you're no, the man it's now, not dog. Worse. Come on, it's just not. There's no game to it. I know. But, it's really you know, cute, it's though. I love dog. him. Yeah. I really like how you felt, felt up my glass right there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey. You know, you know, they know you're you're kind of hitting on them, right? Mm -hmm. And you sit there and you watch her do that. God, you can do that well. <laughs> and they don't think you're a creep when you do this? No. <laughs> they it. love it. And so then I make some kind of comment, you know, and kind of just the banter. And you can tell if they're interested because, of, you know, how waitresses, they can do their little sort. Yeah. They come back over and, and they kind of talk. So I, my line used to be like, uh, but you got a meaty cunt. <laughs> and then they're like, hey, hmm. what are you doing after this? That is how we met, right? Yeah. I got a meaty cunt on you, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> do you then? Then you kind of ask them kind of where you're from, how long you worked here, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, you, you know you say, "Well, why don't you give me your phone number and write it down on the napkin?" Mm. Sometimes it would, but one time the girl said to me, "Give me your phone number." Oh. And I gave her mine, and she called. She did call. She called. Um, but the best ones. The best system of all. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Bank tellers. Bank tellers? Oh, you just farted. I know. Bank <laughs> tellers. <laughs> I know. to go in. Oof. Shit, man. I know. This is a bad one. Oof. So, bank tellers. Okay, what's that smell mean? What's coming? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that means that some of this stuff I've had on this trip, that lunch I had today that didn't digest well. Yeah. That's coming out? That's coming out later tonight, probably. Really? Yeah. Like gonna... middle of the night? No, it won't, it won't be, but tomorrow morning probably it will start off the day with. That's really bad. That'll be kind of ugly, yeah. Oof. Yeah. Does he tell the bank teller Me this? Love. Yeah, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't good. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. Was he laying uh, down? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, yeah. I could hear him like struggling yeah. to kind of get up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. Oh, shit. That wasn't good. <laughs> bank tellers. Oh, my God. Why the bank tellers? Poor Dude, ladies. That is. Wait, wait till you hear how in depth this is. This is not oh, no. just some run of the mill. Oh, here's something kind of. Cr this is like well thought out, very calculated. Here we go, guys. You're gonna start banking at the new <laughs> places after this one. Uh, ready? Take yeah. your notepad out. Get uh, your pen ready. Yeah, well, so I'm gonna, you know, we're all gonna pay the price for that one. Whew. <laughs> okay, so. You said bank tellers. Bank tellers, yeah. So okay. what you do is you go into the bank, and you, of course you, you survey, you know, the attractive bank teller, and you make your deposit, and you kind of just banter a little bit to see if there's any back banter, you know. Mm -hmm. So then what you do is when you go back the following week, you would time your deposit, if there, in case there was a line, just with her. Oh, I got you. Okay, and so if like people are going to different tellers, you try to you make sure you go to her. Absolutely. Okay. So then what you do is you say to her, uh, "Look how much fucking money I have." No, you say, "I really <laughs> like that red dress you have on." Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you wear that in a long time. Well, if they're into you, they know what day you come in to make deposits. Mm -hmm. 
So if you come in the following week and she's got the red dress on. And you know she likes this is a Wow. He's right. Did you hear this? But that's why your mom thinks he's gonna murder her because he, he's methodical. That like was he very plans methodical. Out. Yeah. He's talking about a three minimum three week operation. Wow. Two or three week kind of operation. Oh yeah, oh, but yeah. you you know, oh, this wow. is this you gotta insist that you can't rush things. Okay. All right. So then what you do when you make the deposit you're right out on the back of the deposit slip. Would you like to have lunch next week? Yeah. And if not, I'll fucking kill you. No. <laughs> no always. would say yes. Really? I'll bat it 100. You bat it 100? Bat it 100. 1,000. You bat it 1,000. Bat it 1,000. Yeah, bat it 1,000. Wow. So here's, again, to recap. Wow. It was you, you, you scope out the joint. Yeah, you find a cutie. Then you go, you see if there's chemistry. Wow. The next week, same time, you go in and you make a comment about something that she's wearing and <laughs> and how much you like it, mm. which, and then you go back the third week at the same time, and if she's wearing that same, that same thing again, you know that she did it basically because she thought you were coming in. Or, no, no, and he comments, I really like the dress or something, right. so and the, then so the she time remembers you, right. the interaction from last time or something. Right, that, right. No, well, that's, no, no, the second time... You point out what you like. I really like those earrings yeah, yeah, yeah. or that dress. I haven't seen you wear that. It's really beautiful. You look great and blah, blah, blah. And then the third week, if she's wearing it again, she's wearing it because she's trying to impress you. Oh God, Wait, so it gets crazy. it gets better. It gets better. And then you write. On the last time you write, you want to have lunch, lunch or dinner on the back of your deposit slip, which probably will scare her at first because she'll probably be like, ah, yeah. is this, like, give me all your money? Kiss, kiss, say. <laughs> no, it, that's people write, give me all your money on slips. Like to rob oh, right, it. Not, right. Not because they're a killer, because they're run, robbing run, it. Run, 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 <laughs> Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. How often did you use this trick? Well, in my single days, I used it every place I banked. Every place you banked? Yes. You were a serial bank teller dater? Yeah, what I did was. Yeah. I had multiple accounts at multiple banks. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Wait, this was your system? My modus operandi. You had multiple accounts at multiple banks? Oh, sure. How many banks are we wow. talking? We're talking three banks. In your single days? Single days, yeah, yeah. So you're like in your mid-20s, late-20s? Early, mid, mid-20s, mid-20s, yeah, mid-20s, yeah. And how many dates would you say this got you? Oh, I would say probably. You know, probably got six different. Like, really? Yeah. And did, were these all end up being girlfriends or no? But no, I would say one of them became a uh, a girlfriend for you know three or four months. Really? Yeah. Thank God, yeah. And then a couple other ones just went out a few times. Yeah, he went out a few times, kind of surveyed, you know, <laughs> beat it up and tossed it out. You know, but uh, you know he doesn't even hear it. I got He doesn't even hear it. Oh, this is one. Uh, now. You're, how old are you now? 64. 64. Yeah. Back in your single days. Okay. It's a long time ago. Right. So we're talking, you know, over 30 years ago. Uh, how, when you went out with, and you were, and you, were you know, you had intimate relations with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what type of protection did you guys use back then? Oh, we, we didn't. We just took our... <laughs> Took her chances. <laughs> I'm gonna save. What I'm gonna save the rest of that for next time because we've been fuck. at this a while. <laughs> a while. This now. is pre-AIDS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, the worst you could get back then was syphilis or a baby, right? Um, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. That is a baby bananas. was the more con- more of the concern too. I he think. didn't give a fuck though. No, he just dropped loads in every bank teller, every single one in America. I think there's somebody at like Chase or Citibank now that's that's a brother <laughs> or a sister. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you though? I think that his theory is spot on because bank tellers are—they're usually, like she, he said, college educated. Right. They're usually young, good-looking broads. They put, put a together. lot of good-looking good chicks work at banks. We're like our Wells Fargo. Yeah, we're. Uh, Remember when you did? Uh, I told the story. I right. Told you the took story. a photo of one of the girls, and then I got a call from the bank. <laughs> uh, why are to you set up pictures? with our friend Ryan. Why do you want to rob our bank? <laughs> <laughs> she's actually a friend of mine. Yeah. Like, she's come out to my shows now, yeah. this girl that you took a photograph of. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she's wonderfully beautiful, put together. So, Top Dog knew where to hunt. That dog knew where to hunt. He was he was giving you knowledge. He was telling you how to do it right. Not so crazy when you think about it. Um, Not so crazy. Wow, um, Top Dog. I'd like to hear more about his single life before Charo, because 
I know that when we're all together at home, it's probably not a good time to talk about that stuff when she's around. But that's the best time to bring up that stuff for her reaction. Because to yeah. get her, you know what I was actually planning on doing? When we go home for Christmas. Um, we have to do a Christmas special. Well, we can definitely do a Christmas special. Yeah, your mom's house Christmas special of just the But not just that. And I want too. to put the headphones on her and play her no. play her this stuff of my dad talking about his farts. No, not the dating oh, stuff. I was going to say, are you trying to kill your dad? No, no, no. <laughs> He's going to get murdered. No, but the fart stuff. Yeah. And and then have a mic then have a recorder going so that when she's listening to him <laughs> talk about his farts, she just goes absolutely yeah. apeshit. Ugh. Yeah. And she'll really be like, I don't listen. I don't think it's funny. Disgusting is disgusting. And I don't know why why is he funny to be disgusting. <sighs> So that is, um, we'll give you more, more, um, so fucking good though. top dog stuff next that week. That was really good audio. He yeah. really gave, he shared, a, he I've never shared. heard that before and I've known the dog now for a few years. There's, uh, Quite there's a more, years. there's more coming. There's more and we'll get into Can't it next wait. week. Um, and on that little note, hey buddy, <laughs> it's top dog. Hey buddy, it's top dog. Hey, buddy, it's Top Dog. You need to wipe it down. There he goes. Top Dog. The shirt's uh, off the chain. You guys really responded in a way. So cool. That is really fucking rad. Can I tell Um, you that I'm super excited about this Top Dog shirt? I feel like this is the shirt of the podcast. It is. Forever and ever. Amen. It's going to be ours. It's Um, the best thing ever to happen. There's some stuff that we, uh, we started on last week. I figured we'd pick up where we yeah, left yeah. off and then just kind of uh, go from there, man. Let's a, see. Uh, a girlfriend for, you know, three or four months. Really? Yeah. Bank told her, yeah. And then a couple other ones yeah. just went out a few times? <laughs> yeah, he went out a few times, kind of surveyed, you know. Banking. Beat it up and tossed it out. That was that, know, that was but, last uh, week. You know, so. so should we recap for people that haven't listened? If you haven't, you. yeah, if you haven't listened oh, um, is... last week's episode, yeah. of course we uh, we talked about um, the shitting the pants that happened two episodes ago. Uh, we recapped that and got his take on what happened. A couple five feet too far, and um, asked some other questions about smells and what those indicate to you, and then uh, we we got into picking up chicks. Yeah. And he laid down his old game. His the right. game he used to spit uh, was to bank tellers. Very specific. Um, he gave really here. really yeah. detailed instructions. De- if you're yeah, just listening for the first time, especially if you're trying to get laid uh, <laughs> in the banking and the financial industry, uh, maybe you should go listen to episode sixty three and let him put you up on game. You know? I was really surprised that Top yeah. Dog had such specific game. I did not I did not see it coming. No. I did not know that was coming. I don't think anybody did. Yeah. I, I think we all just thought he was good at smelling his own farts right. and sharding. But he, and had, he had a plan. To know that he's got these skills with chicks. I mean, oh, yeah. this is really something else. It really is. So we got into that and how dating worked. And then well, this is where we left off. This one. Now... You're, how old are you now? 64. 64. Yeah. Back in your single days. Okay. It's a long time ago. Right. So we're talking, you know, over 30 years ago. Uh, how, when you went out with, and you were, and you were, you know, you had intimate relations with a woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what type of protection did you guys use back then? Oh, we, we didn't. We just took our... Sh- took her chances every single time every single time every single time with every girl yes have you ever worn a condom mm. no is do you do you think that's normal no did people back then wear condoms they were hard to get because they didn't you know they, they sold them in Restrooms to really seedy gas stations. Okay. That was it. <laughs> yeah, or the the, the the pharmacist had them behind the counter, but nobody wanted to go ask him. So you kind of just took your chances. So every your chances. single girl, every single time, isn't that incredible? That's bananas. I can't even. Back then, wear condoms. They were hard to get because yeah, they didn't. Let's clear you know, that again. They, they sold them in restrooms to really seedy gas stations. Okay. That was it. 
Yeah, or the the, the the pharmacist who had him behind the counter, but nobody wanted to go ask him. So you kind of just took your chances. So every single girl, every single time, was... Russian you know, roulette. You And this never ended in a pregnancy, you don't think? A couple of scares, but no pregnancies. That you know of? Yeah, well, I know. I mean, I just, you know, I wasn't that active, okay? It was... I don't, I don't, oh. I think I have a brother. Definitely, there's a there's a junior dog I somewhere. I think I have a brother or sister. Top dog junior. Who's 48. <laughs> Pretty conservative. Dude. Come on. What? So you had but the ones that you dated? You dated some of them. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You might have another son or daughter out there. No, because I, I really wasn't. I mean, the ones that I, I did, I really was pretty conservative, actually. And they didn't take the pill or anything? They didn't have the pill. Didn't, didn't come around to the seven? Well, how long ago, when did the pill come out? Well, they it, they had it, but it just kind of started. Yeah. You know, this is, we were talking late 60s, early 70s, okay? Is that another one of your mottos? Just rush, like, just take a shot and see what happens? <laughs> <laughs> well, in those days, you, you, you know, a lot of that went on, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Would you have, um, what if somebody came up today, next week, to your office and was like, hey, I'm your son? Right down to the DNA lab immediately, okay? And if it was confirmed? You know, it's confirmed, you yeah. Know? Would you take him out to lunch? I'd probably take him out to dinner. You know? Yeah? I, I think you get a dinner for that. Yeah, for being your son? Yeah. <laughs> He's like wow. 40 years old. <laughs> yeah. Dinner. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's exciting. It is exciting. I think I might have a sibling out there. You could be, you know. I mean, I dated a girl in the Marine Corps who um, who was uh, who got knocked up by a pilot who was on an aircraft carrier. Really? Yeah. I took her out one day, and these guys said, don't you realize she's pregnant? And I said, no. Something just happened to our broadcast. What do you mean? I don't know. You stream? Yeah. Was it too long? It stopped. No, it's not too long. Oh. It stopped. Our our Ustream went off. That's weird. Yeah, that yeah. is weird. I guess we should keep the audio going. Yeah. I don't think I should fuck with this. We'll deal with that later. Okay. Yeah, she was pregnant. Oh, she was pregnant. Yeah, I didn't realize it. Did she have a bump? She had a bump. I just thought she was a little fat. She had a bump. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, thanks. sorry, 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 sorry. That wasn't supposed to happen in your ear. That was from the recording. I didn't realize that was there. But this, I think, has a lot of implications. You know, uh, it means that my dad was doing the same shit. That's mm. bananas. No, you probably have a little brother or sister running around. A little dog, Junior. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but he's right. The pill doesn't come into the U.S. until the late sixties or seventies. Right. My dad told me that too. That in Hungary. Like back when he was a teenager, you just busted nuts. Yeah. And like girls just had abortions left and right. Like you really, just, you just had abortions if you got pregnant. Or you just yeah. had kids. That's the yeah. other option. <laughs> There's that what option. A, what a drag. That was only a generation ago. I know, man. So crazy. I'm a little surprised. I like that he also almost went out with a girl. He didn't know she was pregnant. He was like, I just thought she was a little fat. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's what he thought. He's adorable though. I know what you mean. I didn't. I didn't have that, but I did have one time. A girl who I was um, messing around with, mm -hmm. and I didn't, uh, I didn't per like, I, I hadn't closed the deal, yeah, and I didn't pursue it, yeah. Like it was the kind where you felt like you could put in a little more effort, mm -hmm. but I was just like, yeah, whatever. It's true. And then I found out a little while later, it was in college. She got pregnant by another guy, yeah. But then I was like, man, if I had pursued that. I could have been that guy, you know. Yeah, because oh, I, you know. Yeah, she clearly some was. More, some are more fertile than others, you know. Right, and she was the type of girl who would have been like, "Don't worry about it, just blow a load in me," you know. Yeah, right, right. So, right. yeah. <laughs> you just said that to your dad like it was me or a friend. <laughs> like that's a normal thing to say to your dad. Well, the thing uh, that the point I was trying to make was that ah, uh, that there are girls. That like in that case, it was a very specific thing I was trying to tell him, was that not that the girl was t definitely like down. If you know, there's just th this thing you realize like, oh, I can I can hook up with this person. Yeah. And then you go, it's then it's like, do I put an effort? It's not that much effort. Sometimes you're like, I could I just need to very casually pursue this. Right. I didn't. 
and when she did end up, I found out she was pregnant. What I realized was not like oh, that, like oh, that she's pregnant. That could be me. It was that she. A lot of this, a lot of times, is is the woman dictates. Like uh, guys are willing to do what whatever the woman says. Like so that's how, in my experience, how it is. In other words, if the girl's like, yeah, you can you can come inside of me. As a guy, it takes a lot more strength to go like, no, I shouldn't. Right. And as a college kid, when this when this happened, when I was 19 or 20, if this girl had been like, don't worry about it, I would have been dumb enough to be like, okay, sure. Yeah. But that's the stupid training that they don't... Here's the thing, is that they put the fear of God into girls. Like, we're the ones that get punished if we're I know, unsafe. But, but why don't they put that into guys? That makes me so mad. I don't know. Probably because the fear... It doesn't, it doesn't feel... Even if they put the fear into you, the fear is really like, oh... Like you'll have this responsibility, not like you'll have this thing growing inside of you. Oh, so right. the, the responsibility doesn't feel that real to certain people, you know, when you're that age. Yeah. And even though like I would have done the right thing, I would have paid for her to abort it. Mm-hmm. I I just feel like that's the kind of, that girl would have been like, don't worry about a condom or anything like that, you know? Well, yeah, I know. <sighs> Drop your load. Yeah, it's just hor- it's uh, hor- uh, say, it's just such a it's such a miracle you make it out of your twenties without mm, like multiple kids and just I can't believe drug that I problems yeah, and yeah. shit like Jesus Christ. It is crazy. Let me see if there's anything else here with Top Dog. The kind that you've been like, oh okay, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. What was that? I farted too. I farted. Um, um. <laughs> Father doing it together. Father son. Father son fart. There you go. Yeah. All right. Wait a minute. Okay, pa- pause it for a second. Yeah. Your dad was in Vietnam. Right. Blowing loads in Vietnamese. No, nah, I don't think so, man. Girls, theoretically. You could have like a Vietnamese. Yeah, but the thing is, brother that's, or sister. That's kind of a, a real um, illusion from people where they think that all these guys in the field are like when they're in the shit are also getting laid. It doesn't really happen like that. Who knows? But who knows? You don't know. No, I know from having spoken to him. That he, like, didn't, he didn't bang any of it. Dude, Me his, so horny. No, no. He he was never even really, he didn't even have downtime in Saigon. You got a girlfriend in Vietnam? Yeah. No, he didn't have downtime there. You, you gotta <gasps> Five have dollars. That. You got to have that to do that. No soul brother. Soul brother too buku. Yeah. <laughs> just watch that again. That was just yeah. on TV. No, that didn't happen, babe. Five dollar. Anything you want. Do you want. listen at all? <laughs> or do you just talk? Why are you saying that? I've been listening to you and I'm, trying I'm to, responding. You're you're you keep going making this me so horny. Yeah, you keep doing that because I want to do the accent for you. I want to impress you that. But I'm I trying to tell you works. like something about like you're like oh you might have it. I'm trying to tell you that he wasn't there, and you're like oh but what if you? And it's like are you listening to what I'm saying right now? I am. Why are you so short with me today? I've just explained to you why. And you're cranky. You didn't eat enough. You didn't eat enough after your workout. <sighs> I know I hear what you're saying, but that's not true. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you? Can I? Can I tell you something for a minute? What are you going to tell me that's not true about I've what been, I just said? Because I've been in war zones. I've oh, done you must know a lot about that. In places, and I'm yeah. not saying that they can in Afghanistan because it's a Muslim country, but I've done other bases like in Korea. No one's those talking guys about Korea. Fuck hookers. It's not a war zone. Well, it was at one time. That has that's the dumbest that's the second dumbest thing you've said today. Why? How could uh, comparing you know, Korea wait, where there's not an active me, war going on? Okay, but you're telling me that in Vietnam no guys slept with hookers. Of course they did. Okay, that's all I'm saying. No, it's not. We we're talking Maybe I'm not saying Top Dog did, but I did insinuate yes that at the beginning. Yes, you did. So you told me he didn't, and I just continued to do my hooker voice because it's true I know, that some but guys I, I just feel like you don't get it in Vietnam, dude. What don't I get, Tommy? I know everybody knows that some guys fucked hookers in Vietnam, but you're implying that people in the like in the bush in the shit are fucking hookers. They're not. People that are out there are not fucking. There's no hookers oh, out there. Of course not. They're you patrolling have to be, in the jungle. They yeah. have to be in a city to find the hookers. Right. I know that. I don't think you know that. It doesn't Maybe, seem yeah, like you know that. Their hookers aren't in the shit. I, I'm I'm just figuring out that you figured that out. Why do you? Why would you? I'm not that fucking retarded. I don't know that. You think that I'm that stupid that I think that there's hookers laying in ditches with these guys? Yes. When they have a, a foot rot. Yes. And they're throwing uh, uh, fucking grenades at Charlie. I do think that's, that that's this, what you think. You're the, now you're the <laughs> stupidest person I've ever. met. I think that that's what you think. I think that's how your mind works. You know what? You can sleep outside tonight. Man, that's fucking bullshit, man. Damn. Fuck off, 
be LeBron, bitch. Miss back that motherfucker. God, get up, Brown, you black bitch. Why you doing that shit? Fuck you. Throw that, bitch. Fuck. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Fuck it. You suck this big ass motherfucker. All right, we got to get out of here. <sighs> well, another thing that was kind of great about... Um, Going down there, we Piece got to run into we got shit. to run into my parents. Yeah, and it's fun, man. We got to get them and we got to talk to them and it's so a good cute. time. That's um, I love your parents so much. We had dinner with them. Yeah, we had a good time. We got a little. Thing Do we for have you a here. treat for you guys? Hey, buddy, it's Top Dog. Hey, buddy, it's Top Dog. Hey, buddy, it's Top Dog. You need to wipe hey, down. Buddy. It's top dog. <laughs> I haven't had any butthole itch for months now. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> he was looking good. Your mom and top dog they looking in, amazing. Yeah, that was that was fun times, man. Um, we got to. This is really exciting. We got to give top dog uh, uh, a top dog shirt. And I was able to record it. First time that he's ever seen the shirt. Yeah, pretty neat. I think I have it right here. Let me see. Oh my gosh. This first, Dad. Put your phone down. Yeah. Put your phone down. <laughs> Hold on. So this, I was gonna, I wasn't gonna wear it, but then I, uh, what? No, it's nothing. Crazy. I wasn't gonna wear it, but I didn't think I was gonna see you, so I wore it. So you're gonna have to wash it. Okay. Okay. I had to put it on because I didn't think I was going to see him, so I wore it around. Right, right. Well, but you, you washed it. I wanted to. This is. Was this the Top Dog T-shirt? A new shirt. <laughs> from the show. Oh my god. Oh. Your mom. What to say? It doesn't even fucking know. No. Your mom. Mom's, mom's house. house. That's it. That's it. Podcast. Top Dog. Yes. And what did you say underneath that? <laughs> Wipe down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wow, isn't that crazy? That's it is. that's like I mean, that's so bananas that you actually. It's get like to showing see. Jesus a cross. That's what I was. Yeah, hanging on the wall. Yeah, it's like you wipe down. It's like he was looking in a mirror. Yep, the shirt of his life. It's pretty neat, man. That guy has a shirt after him. That's how cool he is. He and has no idea how no much idea. how beloved he is by thousands and thousands of people. Love Top Dog. Jeez. And with good reason. That was a genuine, real moment right there. He yeah. got, and he was like, "All right, yeah." Right. Your your mom's, your mom's. Your mom's yeah. Do you realize podcast. that I've sent him? Listen, I've sent him MP3 links. I've sent him the iTunes link. Like they have iTunes. I'm like here's the link. Yeah. And he's like, I, I don't do that stuff. I'm like, it's all you gotta do is click the thing. Never gonna happen. Can you show me how to listen to the thing that you do? He can't even remember the word podcast. <laughs> Jesus Can I Christ. tell you though? You know my crazy mother, who I don't speak to, yeah, because she's bananas. Found me on Twitter, which crazy. was fucking yeah. horrifying. So I, you know what, old people can scare you sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. If they want to figure it out, they can. But now there wouldn't be a um, it wouldn't be a complete top dog moment if we didn't talk about farting or something. What? So we got uh, my mom to tell a story about a top dog fart. I think I have it here. The steward is standing here. Okay. And you can Sorry. report to it. Yeah. So to Please listen to I'm this. listening. So today you we farted. We get in the plane. Yeah. No, today I didn't fart today. Oh, I thought you were about to tell me about the fart today. We get in the plane. Mm -hmm. Our seat is the very last one. Right. And I apologize. This was at a restaurant. Yeah. So that's why there's, there's you know, it's kind of hard. But she's saying, I'll, I'll, I'll interject just to make sure you understand. She's saying they got on a plane. And they sit in the very last row, which always sucks on a plane. Right next to toilets. Yeah. So the very last row, and they're 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 sitting down, and my dad gets up because he's like, "I want to go to the bathroom before the flight takes off." <laughs> the steward is standing here, and your father says, "Get up! I'm better go to the bathroom before you sit." And he wants a window, so he goes in the bathroom. He come out, and as soon as he come out, I see the steward going like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she's covering her. She's saying that the stewardess covered her nose and mouth. <laughs> walk to the middle. 
Anden er gulvet. Han har tog sig med at sidde og se på Rydjens fart, men det ses i det bare til. Jeg kan sige, at det var bare. Jeg sagde, at nu ved jeg, hvorfor hun var. Og du ved, hvad han gjorde? Han kiggede på det, og han var sådan. Det var mig. Han vejede mig. Han vejede mig. Du tog kredit for det? Han gjorde det ikke kredit. Hvad gjorde hun? Hun smilede. Hun smilede. Jeg ved, hvad du gjorde. Hun så ham. Hun så ham. He, oh my God. So I know. I'm sorry. The audio is not He's better. He's crazy. So basically, what happened was, if, if you didn't put it together, I know it's hard to hear. He got up and he goes, "We go to the bathroom." He went to take a leak. Mm. When he's in the bathroom on the plane, he farted and then he trailed it back to the seat. So he Ugh. farted in the bathroom, brought it back. Yeah. The stewardess was like, "Oh my God!" and walked like up like 20 rows to get away from the smell. <laughs> my mom goes, mm. "Oh my God." Did you fart? And he goes, yeah, in the bathroom. And then she's like, oh, my God. And then when the stewardess looked back, he waved. And he went, he waved at her. <laughs> he smiled. And then she smiled at him. Like, yeah, that's fucking really <laughs> disgusting. Um, Not like father, like son. You have to say excuse me to him to get in. Yeah. Wow. And she got out. She went well, yeah. it was. You know what's amazing is yeah. when, when he, like, when I, when I was in, um, in uh, Maine, he had a couple killer oh no I, and he I, goes I, I have and he said uh he says seafood buddy different different food makes you fart different <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> i think it's different in story every day so, about as far as like a I, fart update I yeah can no 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 i do too it's my life too believe me no you don't think my life is the same no it's all day farting and burping and farting no. and shitting and burping. farting and shitting yeah all that on, is a, on a cycle no no but the parts that he has yeah. make people run away <laughs> and he decide to do it in bed <laughs> oh yeah. Tommy knows. Oh my gosh, like, did you just hear what she I said? Had matches. I, I called. I had to go down to the concierge and get matches I in her hotel room so I could light them. You have to have them, and I go like this. And he says, "Go, please, don't do this." Why don't you tell her the famous AMC theater story? Okay. I can't. My stomach hurts from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we still had our brown talk. Uh, yeah. So I talked to him today. Uh, we had we had a good talk, and I'll just I'll just get into it. Because um, <laughs> I I want you to know this. I do think about you, listeners. The reason this phone call start happened is because he called me yesterday and he started talking about what you're going to hear. And I said, save it. Save it. I'll call you back. Because <laughs> I don't even want to blow the load. I, I, he's like, ah, oh, all right. And then I, Does he listen to this podcast? Not at all. He's no idea how to. No, no Thank clue. God. No clue. Hello? Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Good. What's going on, man? I uh, just, uh, you know, finished off another chess victory. <laughs> Be the guy three yeah. times. Actually, drew the first game and I won the last two. <laughs> Love chess. So, uh, kind of excited, and, you know. Another notch in my belt. Who is it? Um, one of the, our listeners is a, a chess teacher. He asked me if you wanted to play him online. Sure. Give me his. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I mean, you might have. That's for. There's a guy that came to uh, my show in Richmond a few weeks ago. He's a chess teacher, and uh, oh. I told him about Top Dog Play. He goes, "Oh, I'd love to play him online." And I said, "What do you play online? Like, do, 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 is there like, a, a chess website?" Ch- oh my God, there's chess. You know, chess is huge, and it's a huge internet thing. Like, you know, people you can play. There's groups you can join. There's websites, mm-hmm. programs you can buy, or you know, right. clubs you can join. And people play chess. Do you remember Battle Chess? Wait, what? No, chess. It was bad. It was chess, but like all the characters battled each other. You don't play chess. Mm. I don't play chess. I play Chinese checkers. So do I. That's, that's, that's my I game. Say, I'm too stupid for chess too. I, know. I can't figure it I out. I love chess. Chinese checkers. <laughs> chess is an advanced. Chess is really hard. Yeah, yeah. So I want to tell that guy. You know who you are. Uh, send me an email. Uh, send me an email to your mom's dog. podcast at Gmail, and uh, I'll send you. I'll let you. I'll try to hook it up. Uh, get um, matchmaker. Yeah. Chess lovers. So it's going to happen for you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that up. Sure. Absolutely. Um, I mean, he teaches chess, so that might be some pretty good. Oh, I can. Yeah, always, always a game you can improve on, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, you called me yesterday. You said you were telling me something about one of your shits. You were like, oh, you ever noticed oh. when. You know, what happens is. 
<laughs> this only happens when you go into an unfamiliar toilet. Mm. And yeah. usually, you know, happens when you have a double flusher mm. because you're sitting down there and, you know, you've dropped a pretty good size load, <laughs> which means you probably have to use a little more paper than normal, okay? Yeah. And then you realize you want to flush that down, and you got to kind of go in for the second run at the wipe, okay? <laughs> right. Well, some toilets, depending on how they're designed and the water pressure, the, the water rises up, you know. And the more yeah. the, the more dump in the toilet, the higher the water level raises. Well, if you're not careful, what happens is is that the the water rises up and hits you right in your private part. <laughs> Right in your sack. Yeah, right just, oh, a absolutely right in the sack, okay. So being the, the, vet the veteran that I am, when I go into an un unfamiliar toilet and I hit the plus, I mm -hmm. kind of just lift my butt up and <laughs> visually look down between my legs to see how high the water goes. Because in case this turns into a cripple flusher, then I know how high the water goes. Okay. Oh, so. yeah, because sometimes <sighs> I see what you actually do, like, in a way you're doing, like, recon on the toilet, in a way. Well, absolutely. A airport toilets can do this, too, because <laughs> sometimes they have these really, depending on the water pressure and the setup, they can have these really violent flushes, okay? <laughs> and if you're not careful. You've had those, right? Oh, oh for, it's crazy. Has it ever startled you? Ever no, startled, it startles like, me. You're not and attention? then it also brings wind, like unexpected. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, whoa, I'm going to get sucked into this, yeah, man. Yeah. But I don't like because sometimes the backsplash touches my cooch. Yeah. And then you're like, what fucking awful yeah. disease am I going to get <laughs> yeah. from like other people's shit water yeah. on my cooch? <laughs> of course. It's panic. I, of course. Thing. I actually had the exact same thing happen to me where he's saying that the water rises. Yeah. Like I was doing like, a shit and it was just like I remember I was just like I kind of looked at it like I did one of those where you like st sit up a little and just to see how much is in the bowl because you're just like oh my god I'm shitting like non-stop and then I, I just flushed it but was sitting down still and the water rose and my dick touched a turd oh! and I remember it was the first time that I've ever had like knew that could happen or felt that yeah. and I, it freaked me out like yeah. ever since Wait. then now I'm kind of like your dad I that's a new out. door that opened that yeah. day yeah. Yeah. into that world your dick touched your turd dick touched a turd or something yeah yeah was... i've had i've had i know you're talking i've had two where you have like a, like a disgusting shit mm -hmm. and then you flush oh. and it just comes and just it basically it's like someone took a cup and threw it at your balls yeah and you're like Whoa, oh what? fuck man it's so <laughs> yeah. filthy so the public yeah, he talks more about it <laughs> yeah you're not careful you know that can splash all over you so you really need to know you need to check out kind of, it's kind of hard to think about this ahead of time before you sit down. But when you're sitting down and you're finishing up, you, you got to kind of lift up and flush. Otherwise, you may be in for a, a nasty surprise. <laughs> yeah. Because but this, this, comes with experience. this comes with experience, okay? And so, I believe, you, know, I believe you. you know, I mean, you know, I've been airports, gas stations, everything, and... You know, you never know who was down there before, and of course, you don't want their stuff. If you, if you know, if it rises up and hits you, and you know, the sack there, that's not something you can just take a shower and get cleaned up right away. You got to carry that around. You know, until you, you, until you get to get a shower carry around. The, you got to carry around that shit sack, basically. Yeah, everybody. absolutely. So you know, I, I mean, I really, this hasn't happened to me in a long time because I've battle tested this area. So, yeah, because the thing that sucks is that not only are you getting water, a surprise, you know, cause it's really the surprise element, but on oh, it us, it's oh, yeah, it it shit water. Yeah, yeah it's, it's shit water. Dirty yeah. shit water. Yeah. It's dirty it's shit water. Worst. And then, you know, you, you sit there and say, oh, my God, how am I going to clean this thing off, you know? <laughs> and, and you yeah. can't, you know, it, it's just. And then, of course, you know, if you awesome. if you put your underwear on and you, and you get to your destination and you got a little... You've got, you know, if you got brown spots in the middle in the front, you know you got a problem. <laughs> so, so I, I, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm. This hasn't happened to me in years because I, I trap. I know what to look for. I'm prepared. Wow. Wow. Your dad is the coolest mm -hmm. man alive. Isn't he the best? Just listening to him talk is like poetry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's mm -hmm. so passionate about the cause. He's not some kind of fucking day daytime no. rookie shitter. And you know what that is right there? That really is experience yeah. and a guy yeah. who's willing to share his wisdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you may color it 
with your own opinion on yeah, but it's about to, it's still no. wisdom. Wisdom is that's wisdom, right. and that's what that was. He's like the Aristotle of shitting. Absolutely, that's a, very well put. Thank you. Yeah, or that, Schopenhauer. And and shitting is a big part of life. So why why discount that? You know, I agree. Why we all have our shun. gifts. We all have our treasures to share in life. Mm-hmm. And that re- that's your dad. That reminded me of one time when I injured myself shitting. Uh, I did one of those shits mm-hmm. where you have a really intense boner, and you have to like kind of like push it down oh, yeah. so you can s- oh, like yeah. girls probably have no idea but like guys no. when they have a boner it's like sticking straight out yeah. and so to, to shit you can't just sit down and have your have boner going out. straight up yeah. and out because then you okay. you usually pee when you shit like it's just yeah. automatically like it's connected mm-hmm. so you have to like push the dick with your hand back down and point it towards the toilet and you usually have to sit there and like push it down it's very uncomfortable uh, and weird mm. yeah so so then once you start shitting then you'll pee a little and then you can kind of go all right i think i'm done peeing and then you can kind of rest your dick underneath the toilet lid uh Oof, the tip of the lid you know yeah. so it won't just stick straight up uh mm. I, I did that and then stood up after i was done and it scraped the the, the <gasps> head of my dick and almost popped my head oh man yeah, that's rough man hey what is that picture, by the way? Is that That's my friend Chuck. <laughs> That's my friend Chuck. Isn't that the, one That's of the greatest guy? photos yeah. of your life? Isn't that great? He just thought that was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like looking. It looks like a very long crack. It is a very long. He's 6'5". That's a humongous butt crack. Yeah. <laughs> I want to frame it because it's my favorite thing in this yeah. office. I have another one. of the, the same. The next moment was it's him in the same doorway, and he's facing you, and he tucked the junk. So I got the, oh, uh, we got yeah, both sides. Science of the land. Right, yeah. It's That's really. a good one, right? It's yeah. sort of like my own personal art collection. This is it my is Picasso. Your wall. That's his wall. Mm-hmm. That's good. I know. Um, Sorry. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, you got that all over your nuts. You're pretty screwed with that. Oh, yeah. If you're, like you said, in an airport, you, you, you got you to walk around with that. Mm. You got you no place to go. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, but, you know, it's, it's, it's this thing about the different type of. Uh, there's all different types of flushes out there. You know, there's the slow kind. I mean, I had one the other day. It was actually in church, okay? <laughs> and I had to do three. is weak water pressure. I had to do, you know, three flushes to get it all to go. It's a triple worst. flusher. Uh, it was a triple yeah. flusher. Yeah. I haven't had a lot of triple flushes lately, but did the other day. I do a lot of triple flushers just because of how much I wipe. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It, 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 it depends on, I can tell, I know myself so well, I can tell whether, you know, oh, the other day, it was horrible. Renan, this is in the office, and, um, <laughs> you know, they, they, I realized that there was very little toilet paper left. Oh, no. And I had to oh, go yeah. in, I had to go into real toilet paper management mode. <laughs> wow. And, you know, you're looking up there and you realize, am I going to have enough to complete the job? Oh, no. True. That's a crisis. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, after the yeah, after the second wipe, you see you see mm. how much is there. And you say, oh, my God, I don't know if I'm going to quite make it. <laughs> you have to fold the roll, <laughs> so, right? And that's kind of a panic sets in usually. Enough. Well, it does, you know. And, and, of course, what you have to do sometimes is I did this once. I didn't have enough, so I had to stand up. You know, my, my pants are down around my ankles, and I had to kind of like just <laughs> taking baby steps, go out the stall and go around into the other stall. And you hope nobody walks in while you're doing that. Wow. wow. Yeah, of course. You know? Yeah, because that really teaches you, like you said, toilet paper management or toilet paper conservation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you're going to look up there to see how much is there. And, and if there's a knot there, you know, sometimes you, you you know, as a backup, you can reach in. If you got, like, paper towels there, you can use those for... <laughs> Yeah, Backups. You ever, I've, I've been in stalls where, um, where I've taken a little piece and I just balled it up to try to get the most out of the... Yeah, oh yeah, well I've done that. Oh, the other thing, the other day, I had some really, you know, I, I kind of, I had some really this inferior toilet paper. And, yeah. You know, it was a low quality and, you know, and you get to be careful you don't punch a hole through it. Oh, yeah. That's the, it's done nothing, that. nothing oh. worse than that. Yeah. That's the worst when you when, yeah. when you when you feel your thumb or your finger yeah. punch through. Oh, I know, I know. I did that the other day, you know, and I had to first you bring it around and it's all covered in brown. Yeah, and you gotta remember to wash your hands because <laughs> if you don't, you know. They, I like that he to, has remember. to remember. He's like, because in that case, uh, you know what I mean. That's right. the scenario where you better remember to wash right. your hands. Oh, if you don't get shit on your hands, don't there's worry no point. about it. You know what I like to do? If there's no toilet paper, is I use the toilet seat cover. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's yeah. an emergency one. Yeah, if, there's, if, an if, airport, if it has it, airports. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've uh, uh, off uh, had used a sock once before, uh, where wow. it was just like oh, it yeah. was just like you know what? I'm wearing shitty socks. Uh, I also took the the paper roll that the brown paper roll, mm. and I folded it in half, and then just put it like over my butthole in my underwear, and then went and grabbed paper towels. And then, oh wow, oh, that's inventive. So. Yeah. That's pretty interesting, yeah. Hmm. It didn't really work the best. But definitely, hey, if you're listening, there's two things to remember now. Wipe down, lift your butt off the seat, oh, I guess three things, and then if you get shit all over yourself, you got to remember to wash you your you got to wash that in that case. Yeah. And yes. talking to your dad about poop in such detail is amazing to listen to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can never imagine talking to my dad about even one turd. Really? really? Well, what know. would he do? If you're like, <laughs> Brian, shut up, you're weird. <laughs> We're not done yet. Can we keep going? Yeah, oh my yeah, God, yeah, yeah. Then you're speaking, spreading germs everywhere, E. coli all over the you building, know you know? <laughs> you know what? The other thing I noticed, you ever noticed that, like, um, when you get it on your hands, it's really, really hard to get that smell off. Like, yeah. human yeah. species really sticks to your to your It uh, gets that in there. You really got it. Actually, you really got to go. The, the secret to that is is not warm water, it's hot water. Oh. Oh. Really? Yeah, you got to go, not scalding, but you got you to gotta basically ratchet up the temperature because the hot water is what you really need. Warm water doesn't loosen it up because, see, it's inside your body. It's 98.6 degrees inside your body. That shit is. Right. So you got to get water, you know, above 100 degrees. 98.7, To I bet. really kind of make it loosen up a little bit and that's that's you know that, not everybody can handle that okay you know no right and, and so I, I i you know 110 115 that uh you know gotta have some take some man but that's that's what you have to do it's if you want to really get that wow. stuff out of there and, and uh you know with i gotta because i've noticed that like you know you get it on your hand let's say and you wash your hands in the sink with soap and water and you, you, it's gone. You don't see it, but it'll still. The scent will still be there. Well, that, that's because like you're not. That's it's because you're using just warm water. When you use really hot water, you won't have <laughs> yeah. that problem. Can I but tell you? Can I tell you this though? I'm really impressed. Christina hmm. has an amazing hmm. tolerance for hot water. Oh yeah, really, it really, yeah. really blows me yeah. away, man. Yeah, she or actually, you're just very weak I, with your um, hot water. Uh, no, no, I, I like hot. Dude, like everything. I like hot. She showers in water that I would, I would hit the, oh. the head of the, right. you know, the shower head away. Uh, I would immediately like jump out of the way, and that's her normal. I'm relaxed. And I like to sweat. Water. Like when I lay in bed, I like to be all covered up, real warm. Oh, I hate that. So I much. wear a parka on airplanes, like in the winter time, uh, like really a crazy North huge Face. One. Yeah, oh, people her. think I'm crazy. That's because yeah. I think I grew up in L.A. where it's always warm. Yeah, I have very no no tolerance for uh, for cold. I don't like that. I uh. Yeah. What I are know. you looking at? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I wish my stepdad would report on his shits too, because he was very vocal. Mm-hmm. That's why I find this amusing. My stepfather and my mother would sit down for breakfast every morning. They would drink coffee, espresso, and then they would both leave, take shits, come back, and report Reportable. to each other. Wow. Yeah. And it was like in my house, like that was an everyday thing. Like, what was your shit like? And we discussed it, and it was you know out in the open. Now, can I ask That's you awesome. if you, because you date kind of regularly? You know, you've you've had multiple. Can I have that diff- wine? Yeah, Are you different girlfriends. Species? No. Species. no. <laughs> do you does does the fart game change with each girl? Like in other words, do you wait to see how each one's going to play out before you? Yeah, like, yeah, usually it always happens with an accident at first. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then and then they either <clears throat> they have to hear it and like either they laugh and be like hot, make a joke about it, or they fart. And then I start making fun of them, and then I'll fart on them later as payback. I got you. And that's how the fart game starts. And how long will it take for the game to get started? Usually it's only a couple months in, I would say. That's what Tom did. Yeah. Tom put my hand in his crotch and then farted yeah. when oh. I'm watching a movie. That's how I broke the seal. Yeah. Are you serious? <clears throat> yeah. Take him for Yeah, yeah. Um, Is there more audio? There's a, we have just a little bit more. Do you want to yeah, hear Yeah, I want to hear yeah. what, he's, what he's got. The guy who knows. Okay. I mean, oh, trust me okay. on this one. So he, he knows about the hot water. And you, you, it's gone. You don't see it, but 
it'll still the scent will still be there. Well, that, that's because like you're not. That's but it's because you're using just warm water. Yeah, when you that. use really hot water, you won't have yeah. that problem. Mm-hmm. Take it, take it from a guy who knows. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Trust okay. me on this one. So that's really the the lesson to to think about on that one. Hot right. water. It's gotta be hot water. Hot water. Mm-hmm. Um, so are you gonna bring? I know you're going. You're going on a trip uh, this week. Are you gonna bring? A roll of toilet paper with you? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, for a, go on the cruise lines, really don't use the highest quality. You know, everybody's trying to save money today, so I'll I'll, I'll go to the store and get some, uh, probably some of the high end Charmin tissue, which is kind of one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. hmm. you know, I'll put that in the in the suitcase. He likes for the, those. Uh, the, well, you know, for those moments, oh, stuff you know, with aloe. Oh, yeah. that, that <clears> soft stuff. Well, um, I hope you have a great trip and. Um, I hope your your balls stay dry. I hope you don't get any show water on them. Well, you know, I do, and I'll tell you one thing about, uh, you know, going on a cruise because I tend to eat a lot. My, my last cruise was uh, <laughs> it was a seven-day cruise with 28 dumps, so I don't know. I might go for 30 this time. Oh, <laughs> my. Oh, that's, wow. that's awesome, man. You know what? I, I was thinking, I really like, I like, um, I like the, the force Four of, like, you know, when you're on a plane, how it really flushes hard. I like that. Mm. I want to do that in a house one day. Get a house well, you know, I mean, most houses, you know, the way they're set up, they don't have that, you know, industrial kind of airport water pressure. But some places do. And of course, like cruise, ship, cruise ships nice. have their own, you know, suction system. I mean, there, yeah. this, you, it doesn't, the nice thing about a cruise ship, it doesn't rise up. It can't happen on a cruise ship, yeah. okay? Yeah. Right, right. All right well, I'll give you, a I full report when I, give you a full report when I get back. I can't wait. All right, I love you, Dad. Okay, love you, buddy. Bye. <laughs> so cute. Aren't you should have your dad like write a note for each shit, like like his a notes diary. on each a diary for each shit, oh, oh, yeah. and have your mom oh. read it. <gasps> uh, <laughs> a shit journal, like an a Oprah shit journal. journal. Like no, this shit was fast and quick. Just do the shit journal in front of her because that oh, would be the best thing. Would be amazing. Yeah. She really hates this time. Yeah, I know. yeah, it's the best. 